Yeah. 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 So many lies that you hear from the net, they don't get her respect. She report in the truth, not a check. You want an unbiased opinion straight from the chest. Not a bit of conflict or someone here for a check. Tune in, these are thoughts from a lawyer on a mission who goes so hard. It's like she works on commission. Trolls in the comments might say she tripping because they lack the knowledge. They don't know they missing. Got a couple current events that you like. Want to know about law from the eyes. Tired of all these blogs running lies Because they agendas are disguised Tune in to the intellect Cause I'm sure y'all missing All the facts of the case That she steady is gifted Someone here for the people Man, it's so uplifting If you ain't subscribed yet Then you just omitting facts Esquire, also known as your law intellect. I decided I was going to come on late because I said that I'm going to try to stay up because now that I'm getting older, I can't stay up as much as I used to. And I want to stay up and bring in my birthday. If I can hang, if you can hang with your girl till 12 o'clock, it'll be my birthday. And I want to bring it in with the intellect. I'll be back on tomorrow is what the um, agenda is. Because tomorrow we have bond hearing for Nesto. So hopefully I will have the link so that I can play it over here. If not, I will put the link for Judge Manning's Zoom, not Zoom, her YouTube channel. And you guys can go over there if I don't have the actual stream. I streamed it last time and hopefully I'll be able to do the same thing tomorrow. But again, that's up to Judge Manning. If she allows that, look at you guys, some of y'all being out. All right, look at you, look at you guys being up with your girl. You said, Anicia said, what time? It is at five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. That is Georgia's night court. So it will be on Zoom. Now, this bond hearing is for the reduction of the CP charges. So we were on it a couple of months ago where he was requesting a reduction. The judge basically reduced it. It was at 800,000 and then she reduced it, I think by like, she made it like maybe 150 per count or something like that. Still as high as heck. <laughs> so tonight he is probably up praying, looking up scripture for the book of Job, hoping that he can get this bond reduced. Now we all know that he has a case where he has no bond and that is going to be in person because of the nature of that case. Um, cases like, well, unaliving someone, you don't have a statute of limitation, but, but cases like RA and, and those cases that he have, they have longer statute of limitation. So Depending on, I'm not sure, Georgia's statute, but I know it's longer than what typically is for felonies and for misdemeanors. So he is going to be entitled to a bond under the statute. We went over that statute before. He's entitled to a bond because he's still unindicted and it's been all of these days. Now, the issue he's going to have when it comes to the RA cases and probably even the, the one he tries to get reduced tomorrow there's really no recourse if it's too high. So yeah, you're entitled to bond, but if I make it $2 million and you don't have $2 million, that's similar to no bond. So it doesn't really you know, help you at all. But I wanted to remind you guys, because when the date came for February 5th and I was like, oh, he has a bond here and on my birthday. If you guys were here for that, that video that I did back then. And I wanted to remind you guys that tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow is the day where he'll be back on Zoom. We'll see. Maybe his attorney got more information about him. Maybe Sonya then gave the bullet points for her to talk or whatever. So thank you. Thank you so much, Tabby. I appreciate that. Superwoman27 said, who's going to pay the bond since he doesn't have any money? That's Now, there was a jail call today, and 
it was between Nesto and Dre. And what I will say, aside from Dre kind of tripping me out for a minute there, and we could actually listen to that if you guys want to, because we got to kill a little time till midnight. But aside from Dre, you know, kind of saying some things that we were like, eh? you know, kind of flip-flopping just a little bit. I get it. He was riding for his friend, so I get that part. Ernest was was kind of confirming what I said. He's been in jail. He's been in trouble with the law enough throughout his lifetime to know the system. So he doesn't really need a Sonya to tell him how this system works. And it just always bothered me where I was like, why are you relying on her when you've been in the system? You don't have anything but time to be in the law library. There are probably 50 street lawyers up in that jail right now telling them what motions they should file, who their lawyer is, sliding the numbers to each other, showing them the motions they filed on their cases. That, they don't have nothing but time to do that. So I think he appeases Sonia a lot to make it seem like she, so she can feel like she's a lot smarter than what she is. So yeah, thank you for all of the happy birthdays. Thank you, lovely True Red. I appreciate that. Just thank you, Lisa, Karen. It's not my birthday yet till 12, you know, my time, Eastern Standard Time. Because I was born on the East, you know, on the Eastern Standard Time, so. Thank you so much, Barbara. I appreciate that. They are street lawyers, you know. And street lawyers are the worst, worst for real lawyers because, like, when I did, I still every now and then do personal injury as well because I told you I've done my bit of criminal, I've done my bit of civil, and now I do a lot of 1983 cases, which is a combination of civil and criminal. But when I did PI cases, somebody will come in They'll get in a car accident. They'll have a, sprain, a sprained finger and then tell you, my friend got a million dollars. They told me I should get a million dollars off of this case because it wasn't my fault. I'm like, okay, well, what was your friend's injuries? They're like quadriplegic or something, lost their life, something major, but you think you're supposed to get what they get because somebody on the street told you that's what you're supposed to get. Th those are the worst to compete with is street or jail attorney. Because you cannot tell them that these people don't know what they're talking about. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you. I'm going to, I'll post it. Like I said, last time I actually, hey, Asia girl, where you been? I ain't even seen you. Where you been? Um, The last time I, I streamed it and I'll try to stream it again, like I said, but it just depends. They gave me the link the last time at the last minute to get on Zoom. But um, if they don't, then we'll just go on over there to the YouTube channel, watch it, and we'll come back and commentate on it. Hey, really, B girl, you got class in the morning. You got class. You got. <laughs> don't talk about you late. Don't talk about you late because you was up hanging out with me the night before. <laughs> How long can they hold him without an indictment? Misdemeanors, I believe, are two years and felonies are four years. <laughs> you said I have a little package in the oven. Auntie is driving me. What? Congratulations. We got to talk, girl. What? <laughs> We gonna have to talk, niece. Wow. Yeah. Each count. Um. It's it's kind of a oh, man. I don't want to generalize it, but so in theory, the misdemeanor is not even in theory. The way their law is, misdemeanor charges like any misdemeanors that he has. They don't need indictments. They can do it on a criminal complaint, an accusation. That's all they need. You need indictments for these major charges like they're felonies and you're talking about RA and those are pretty heavy duty charges. Those are supposed to go in front of a grand jury. 
because of the the number of years that you may get if you are found guilty. So thank you, Miss Mad about music. I appreciate that. Yeah. Kathy said, what assets will Triple OG Nestle be putting up for the bail bondsman? Well, before he said that his boy Dre was going to put up his house, but we don't, I don't know. Maybe he will based on this last phone call that he had. So. But he was saying that Dre was going to put up his house. Um, yeah. Let me see if I could go to phone calls. We, we just, we gonna kill some time. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold up. Thank you, GC. I see all of you guys. Thank you so much. I'll be back tomorrow so y'all, you know. Y'all make sure you come back when I come back for this uh, bond hearing. And see what happens. We want to know what's going to happen. I know when he goes on the 23rd, he's going to get a bond. Because, again, statutorily wise, he really should have got one last time. But I think maybe his attorney did not count the days. I don't know what it was, but he was entitled to one. Now, it may not be something he can't afford. And it sounds like if you're asking for a $100 commissary, you probably can't afford any bond at this time. He is going to have to rely on outside people like a Sonya to get him a bond. Otherwise, he doesn't seem like... Now, I, I believe she alleges that he has money, but it's tied up or something. I guess if he can get out. But that contradicts the conversations he's had with Shirley when he said, even if all I need is an apartment, I can sleep on the floor. You wouldn't be thinking about sleeping on floors if you got money hidden up under rocks and in safe deposit accounts and, you know, got homeboys holding money for you under the mattress. You wouldn't be thinking about sleeping on the floor. So I don't know how true that is, but that's what she said. Thank you, Alice, for the cash app. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That is so dope. Y'all put my cash up up there. It is my birthday. You know, if you guys want to, you know, buy my lunch tomorrow. What else we got going on tomorrow? Got to get the pedicure and stuff tomorrow. I think I might get a massage. I think I'm going to do a few things tomorrow. I'm going to try to, for real, make it my day at least until 5 o'clock comes when it's time for this here. But let's listen to Ernesto and Dre in that real quick. So, uh, yeah, I'll be one of them. So to answer your question. What, how that make me feel? It, it, it makes me feel. What's the word I need to use? I got to make sure I know I'm being recorded. It, it, it makes me. It, it, here's the thing. I've been knowing you a long time. I, I, I know you, but now some of the things that I'm hearing, I don't know you. If, if that, you hear that? That that's. I was feeling them for a minute because he was like, "Yeah, you know, I know you," but then I'm like question do i really know you because some of this stuff that i'm hearing is so far-fetched that maybe i ain't know you for real like he was second guessing himself that's true and i'd be like oh that's that's that, that's messed up that i'm and i say to myself i'm just like a, i'm just like a fan that's watching this too if he did that that's Thank you so much embody you said happy birthday and many more i appreciate that I really, and your continued support, you are one of the most generous supporters that we do have on the platform, and I appreciate that, and I recognize that. Thank you so much. Fucked up. And I'll be the first to tell you that's fucked up, and you did ass wrong, Ernest. But then some of it, I listen that, and I keep listening, I keep listening, because you know me, I've got that thing. I be like, no, no. You know, kids and stuff like that. He's very respectable with kids and stuff like that. And he got daughters of his own. I, I don't believe that. He don't have to have no picture, you know, or whatever, allegedly, in his phone. You know what I'm saying? He got a mouthpiece, give a gap, whether they like it or not. He can, if he got... 
Hold on, hold on, chill out. You asked. I didn't understand what that had to do with anything. He got a mouthpiece. He got his own kids. He's very respectable. So that in hit Dre's mind means that you wouldn't have no have to have any pictures. That didn't make any sense. So, like I said, Dre. You know, we 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 adopted you over here as the uncle. We were appreciating you. You gave us our little like and subscribe. And, and, and another thing you notice, the first thing they say, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. <laughs> That's what it's all about. After they get them dogs and you out of it, show the dog you out. That's the first thing they say. If you like this video, make sure you hit. You have one minute on. remaining. So we like you, Dre. But man, this phone call was like, what? It did make us look at you a little like, oh, okay, Dre. Of course, I got it. I mean, just just keep it at 100 if I can. She said ain't got the, the bag for no pussy. I ain't got the bag for no pussy. He never has. Never has. And he ain't never put no gun to nobody here that made them say swipe this and do this and do that. Now, if you talk to them and, you know, and, what, that's different, but forcing somebody to do something, I, I don't know that side of you. Oh, exactly. That was the stupidest thing. I'm not going to say that I ever heard, but it's definitely in the top 10. To say, because he doesn't have to beg for it or put a gun in somebody's head for it, then he couldn't have done that. That is ridiculous, and I hope that is not his defense. I hope he does not parade a bunch of women that say, oh, yeah, I was in love with him. Oh, yeah, I married him. Oh, I did that to show that that's not because that's not what that is about. It's about control. So those are two different things. It's about control. That's pretty much what it is. Whenever you hear most of those, it doesn't matter. It's the can be the finest person, the wealthiest person. They're so used. Don't tell them no. That's what it's about. So for him to say that, I wasn't feeling you, Dre, on that one. So that's the part that be throwing me off. Like, huh? You know, no, he don't have to do that. Whether you like it or not, he, he ain't never had no problem with no woman, period. I'm not saying there's no disrespect to Shirley. I'm not trying to put your business out there. But even before Shirley, right. I've been only 30 years before Shirley. So I, that's the part that I don't. Yeah, I do want to tell that. You ain't got to do all that. And half of y'all saying what y'all wouldn't do, and you ain't going to tolerate this, probably, probably you, don't know, they, you don't know what you'll do. This is true. You pulled up and that guy's not going to sound them. But you know what? Them folks, you are so funny. You guys with these YouTube names crack me up. Them folks, you know what's crazy, though? Is the fact that when if you guys watch any of these shows like Dateline, um, ID Channel, all of those type crime channels, when you look at serial unalivers or anybody that was doing these crazy, sadistic, psychotic type stuff, they have families at home. Like a lot of times their families had no clue what they were doing. That's why to hear people say this is wild to me. Because literally if you watch those that have been deemed some of the most dangerous people that they have done documentaries on, once they died, they wanted to take their brains out and donate them to science to see how their brains work. But they would go home and have dinner. Some of them would be evangelists, ministers, pastors, or whatever at the church. They would be a ministerial every Sunday, the Sunday school teacher. So for people to say that is just so ignorant to me. It is just so ignorant. Thank you so much, Johnny, for the super sticker. I appreciate you. It's dumb. Just dumb. Like, why would you even... I just hope these aren't any defenses because, baby, if these are your defenses, you are going to need a team of prayer warriors to try to uh, plead on your behalf, intercede on your behalf for some grace and mercy because this cannot be your defenses. And, 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 and them jeans on it that got that going to blaze a great cut and eating five stars. <laughs> you don't know what you would have said. Uh, this is true. But they keep dogging Shirley out talking about this and talking about that. And I don't, I don't be liking that either. Because she, 
She fell in love with you. So Lady Intellects, he's saying we could have all fell for Nesta. We're saying we wouldn't have never done it. I'm not saying that somebody else may have, or, or in the beginning, you may have fell for him. But there is no way that he can hide a lot of how his personality is. And I'm not talking about the charges, even when I say this. I'm talking about just the how he went in on Shirley. Like, you need to tell me right now what you're going to do. That wasn't the first time he talked to her like that. Or you not coming home. Or me not really seeing anybody that you work with because of whatever reason. There were other signs of him not being right. Now, I give you off rip. You don't know. Everybody sends their representative. They want to impress you. So they put their best foot forward. That's probably why when he met her within, what, about a year he proposed to her. He didn't give her much time to look too far into him, except she did know he had a background. But again, I've always said that I don't think you should hold people to their past. I think that people should, when you do your time and you've lived as a good citizen or a law-abiding citizen for years, that you should get that benefit of the doubt. But this dude just seems like he just has a pattern. And I just don't see any person not seeing anything unless you just were trying to be plausibly, like plausible deniability. Like if I just act like I don't hear him in the room or he talking on the phone and he whispering and I know it, me, I'm going to be nosy. I'm going to go try to listen to see what you whispering about. Why you got to cover the phone up when I come in the room? Why you sitting up there trying to hang up real quick? I'm going to ask questions. She seemed like those type of things may have happened and she opted to just turn her head and act like it never happened. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like, that's what it seems like she might have been doing. Some of us, and I'm in that us, we just too nosy. What you mean? Why Why is that looking like that? Why did you say you were going here? But then my homegirl said she saw you at Walmart. Some people are going to ask questions. It seems like she just didn't for real. And maybe he would get upset if she asked questions. And that might have been why she did. Absolutely. So, but you know, she got to be this, she got to be that, she got to be done, she got to be this and that. That's the part that I don't like. And it's all black people, no white folks. It's all black. It's, it's all it's all of us. There's no white folks. All of us. Eat this shit up. What that matter if they black, white, or what? The alleged victims, from my understanding, they all black. His side chick, alleged, is black. Like, this is a cultural, this is a black thing. You know what I'm saying? Black people listen to Shirley Strawberry and Steve Harvey. Like, mainly. It's old, well, in our in our city, because I know they're syndicated, it's old school and R&B. Old school. So it's a lot of, it's in our culture, that's our music, R&B. So that's why it, it attracts more. You put this on a white person's platform or whatever they're probably not going to be interested now if you put taylor swift over there and say something that taylor swift was going through then yeah but we may not be interested in what taylor swift is going through so that's what i'm saying some of this conversation was just i felt like dre was reaching to make this situation not look as bad as it looks because he keeps saying he knows it's being recorded Female women. What? That's all it is. When you look at the bloggers and you look at their pictures, that's all it is. And I'm gonna tell you something else too that I've noticed too. And they probably gonna get me for saying this too. I don't care. And, and, and I'm looking at these females that hosting these shows and hosting these bloggers. I don't know all their name right now. And I'm like, okay. My partner wouldn't even mess with y'all. He wouldn't even mess with y'all on a bad day. Cause y'all not a sight. Wow. So they sit, they sitting at the house, hey, but you don't want to put your picture up. You keep putting cartoon characters up. What you look like? They chubby. Right. They fat. They thick. It's not saying there's nothing wrong with that. But they want to criticize you and criticize Shirley and criticize everybody else. But they're sitting at the goddamn house trying to get some lights and stuff, and you ain't, got, you ain't all that either. Exactly. Exactly. 
Wow. Like, look at her. I'm like, I'd be like, wow. So that's why I have to come. I, I have to calm down. I really do. Now, I got, they trying to do entertainment. They trying to put this out there and they trying to put it like that. Now, they got some of them. There's one or two of them out there. I do like to listen to that because they keep it, they keep it mutual. You know what I'm saying? They'll say, well, no, no, you know this and, 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 and girl, he, 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 you know, it's kind of strange now since he's been in there so long. Now, all of a sudden, now, now, charges come out. What happened to the bad checks? Why are they talking about the bad checks no more? See, that's something to think about because that's what it was all about at first, the checks, money, con and fro. So they ain't talking about the checks no more. That's irrelevant. But they dismissed that. Did you know that, right? I know, I know, I know. Yeah. So now the subject is now, every time you make bond, oh, no, nah, they saying he did this. So first it was about this and about that. He ain't paid the bills, he ain't do this. Okay, so it's still about you. He has not paid his bills. I don't think nobody has totally stopped talking about it. We went over the documents. You can only, you know, we're not going to beat a dead horse. <laughs> we went over it. We all know. But the issue is why we keep talking about, aside from the gruesomeness of these allegations, is because, first of all, these are the most heinous crimes that he's being accused of. That's That's one part. And then he's always going to court for these because... One thing he did say, and it's going to come up in this in this uh, phone call, is that when you're unindicted, that's why I know that he kind of leads Sonya on. Because Nesto knows, and I've told you guys that, when you are unindicted, you're not entitled to anything except after 90 days of being unindicted, you're entitled to bond. So that's pretty much all his attorney can do right now. And he mentioned that. So Sonya keeps saying, we want an indictment or a dismissal, like she's going to file a motion to dismiss. You don't have that option right now. And that's one of the reasons why I believe that they 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 linger on the unindictments. Because if I stagger your case, they probably knew all of these alleged, um, they probably knew about all these alleged ac accusations before he was even arrested arrested in july initially and i do believe that they waited every 90 days to make sure that they hit him with something else so even if he got a bond he couldn't get out it does seem methodical to me but again they can't do it if you didn't have these people accusing you of stuff and i'm also tired of him saying there's no evidence and it's hearsay when a person's statement or a person's testimony of what they're saying you did to them is direct evidence their testimony now whether it's a credible piece of evidence that is for the jury to decide if you have a jury trial but stop saying it's hearsay when it's coming hearsay will be me talking about it me saying i heard nesto was a scumbag two years ago and he did a chick on the corner like that that's hearsay because that's what I heard. But if I am the direct person that I'm telling you what happened to me, that is not hearsay. That is direct evidence. So he keeps saying it's hearsay. And I'm like, I guess. They ain't talking about that no more. They talking about these supposed to be pictures. That's not even a full picture. That's supposed to be a portion of a picture that's on your phone. Like one girl said, get the lawyer to do forensics. Pull the guy dog on file. Pull the find out where the picture came from and see that he sent it there. Somebody sent it to him. That's all you got to do. They got lawyers for that. That was probably me. But he probably won't be uh, quoting me anymore because he probably won't like me. He won't like me after this birthday video, this birthday, this pre-birthday bomb video. But yeah, I said that before. I've always been, I've always said I don't like him as a person because aside from even his accusations, he just seems like, He's just not a nice person and he doesn't treat women well. Now, he may have mommy issues. I don't know, but he definitely should get some therapy for that. So I'm saying as a person, he wouldn't be invited to my home. But the law is what it is. And as a person that did criminal defense, I know there are certain rights that he has and he's certain due process. And I know how you get into the evidence. And you got to get experts. I don't know how he's going to be able to afford it because his attorney is going to have to because he has a public defender. 
he she's going to have to request the court give her money in order to get an expert and they can choose whether to do that or not that's another thing that is kind of messed up when you get a court appointed because every extra piece of dollar that they want to spend they have to go before the court and the court has to approve it now if you hire your own lawyer then of course that that retained lawyer is going to do everything that needs to be done to counter and to get you off so but they do have an investigator that is on the case because that investigator actually contacted me one time but that's a whole nother situation because i didn't even i didn't even respond when they contacted me because i kind of knew what they were trying to do so he does have an investigator that was um on the case and so that works for the public defender's office See, I like, I like, I like when they talk like that. Yeah, if, they, if, if you really want to know, this is true. If, if it's a female, if it's a child, if it's a grown woman, get somebody to pull her. They got specialists for that. And she right. That's right. That's right. Oh, no, he's a pedophile. He did. And he got a child. To, and you can't even see the child. That's the part when I be want to call in and say, no, 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 no. Now, if you was a sugar dad or whatnot, whatever, I tell you, yeah. But 19, 20-year-old, he ain't never had to do that. Never. Thank you. And I'm not saying this because I'm your friend. I'm saying this because this is what I know. Because I've been around you. So now, I don't buy the pictures. They're going to have to show me with you with it, with a tape, and for me to believe it. And then I ain't gonna believe it then because I'm gonna have to get it from you because I'm gonna have to ask you. You sound crazy. So they're gonna have to sh have a videotape of you with the phone or whatever device in your hand looking at the picture for you to believe that it was his. That's just ignorant. <laughs> That's just, I'm sorry. That's just ignorant. I'm gonna pause this because it's almost my birthday. So we're gonna say it's 772. <laughs> I just knew I was going to have about 100 people on here with me. It's 700. I appreciate you guys for rocking with your girl on this here birthday. I thank God for another year that I could spend with you guys bringing you this good legal analysis over here. I appreciate all of your support. I appreciate all the love you guys have helped me grow the channel in the last year because I've only had, I've had it about a year and a half now. I should be going on two years soon. But I thank you guys. You guys continue to support. It's my birthday. See, I told y'all I was going to spend it with y'all. It's 12 o'clock. Thank you guys so, so much for being up at midnight on February 5th with your girl. It is 776 of y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. We're going to continue with this Nesto pre-bond birthday party that we having tonight. And we're going to go through this video. Face to face, did you do that? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That's a, you already know. I ain't even got a in your face. You already know. You already know. So, so it's just... It get, it get, man, yeah, it can get overwhelming at times. And then them folks be calling your buddy this and your buddy that. See, you know, and a lot of folks, I, I have got some phone calls, but them folks that you know that I know, a lot of them don't be on that like that. Some of them do know. But like my sister, for instance, my sister, like Felicia, I don't remember Felicia. But my sister, you know, you know Felicia? Okay. There you go. Why? You know, how Ernie is doing? She said, mm, he's doing okay. And she said, yeah, they got him out there. But half of that stuff, they don't believe either. Not not about them kids and all that stuff like that. So don't matter to believe that. So I, I've never seen that side of him. My sister said the same thing, too. He just don't seem like that type of person with the kids and pictures and stuff. Right. Now, we all know you got a mouth out. You know, we, we all know you like women. We all know you like nice things. That's just who you is. That's who I am. That's, that's who I am. Yeah. Now, how you go about getting it? That's your business. What? But I ain't abusive. I'm not doing none of that shit. He said, how you going about getting it is your business. That's not cool. Thank you, Cross Country Cruiser, for the cash app. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the love, guys. I appreciate that. 
But see, but right, but see, the, the bloggers and the people I hear don't know that because when when what you call them YouTube or bloggers or whatever they profession yeah, is, right. when they when they get a panel, like this one is one of them that do it. I can't think of her name. She had about five or six minutes on there. They all call in. Okay, I see all these super chats coming in. Thank y'all so 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 much. Okay, I'd have missed everything. Let me go down here trying to listen to Dre and what he has to say. Then thank you guys for all of the thank you guys for all the love. I appreciate that. Harold, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. Kay Bonita, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for all of your support. Lady Diamond, thank you so much for the super. GC, thank you for gifting the memberships. You're going to make me have to go over there and do another live. <laughs> thank you. Love Joy, thank you so much for the super chat. Jeff, thank you so much, Jeff. I appreciate you and your continued support. Danny, thank you. You said happy birthday. Many blessings to you this year. I receive it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Deborah, thank you for the membership. Seven months in the house. Thank you, guys. Y'all up here hanging out with your girl at night. You see, I don't go to clubs. I go to YouTube to the intellect channel and put on the log. That's just how. That's just how lame I am. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Lady. I appreciate. Happy B Day, Pammy Pam. See, that's one thing Sonya did do. Everywhere I go, I hear Pammy Pam on everybody's channels. I go in the chat trying to support, and they're like, "Hey, Pammy Pam." So she's given a name that sticks. So song, shout out to you. We appreciate you in the nickname. Miss Dimple said, happy birthday and wishing you many, many more blessed years. Thank you. Andrea said, wishing you many, many more fellow Aquarian. Thank you. Christine said, we are the club. Hey, <laughs> I got my pop. Over here, yes, I say pop. I know some people say soda. That's a back and forth in my household because apparently they say soda in New Jersey. So Dev says soda, and then I try to teach my kids pop. So <laughs> thank you, Greer Jones. Hey, it's 800 of you guys rocking with your girl. K. Bonita said, do you think Hannah would ever use any evidence that Sonya brought to her? I don't think she paint if if Based on what I saw, um, thank you, Real Talk with Nikki, for the super chat. Happy birthday, Pammy Pam. Thank you, Deborah. Oh, my gosh. you Y'all going to make me cut. You guys are showing out here. Thank you, Deborah. You said happy birthday, Pammy Pam. Thank you for the $49.99. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I don't think she pays Sonya much attention. She probably irritates her some. Because the reason why I say that is because Sonya, unless Sonya didn't do it, but she made it seem like she's been writing out bullet points and sending them over to the lawyers. And from what I've seen, you guys watched it with me. From what I've seen, I don't see Hannah actually using anything that this lady has said. Nikki, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. So I haven't seen her use anything. So I don't think so. That doesn't mean she's not sending it to her, but she couldn't be telling me anything if I was the lawyer. I'm like, oh, okay. You just met him when? Oh, okay. <laughs> Nettie says, so he know, so he know he a scammer, but don't believe it about the kids. Happy birthday, man. <laughs> Thank you, Nettie. Thank you. Uh yeah. I don't know. In this in this phone call, he's so Dre is like, I don't believe it. I kind of I kind of don't. But if it is true, I can't rock with you. I'm gonna tell you jacked up. But this is nothing that I've seen of you. That's all he keeps saying. So based on that, I think it's crazy to try to get character witnesses, especially those that were in prison before. So like to hear Sonia say, Well, I'm gonna get a character witness to come on the stand. And they're all, he was their bunkie for thir for three years. So he knows you more than anybody. Who wants to get an ex-convict as the only P 
people that you can get as character witness. I think that says a lot. The prosecution would love for you to do that. Secondly, you're opening the door. Character generally is not admissible, but if you open up the door, then and you introduce character, then you give the prosecution also the right to talk about how jacked up your character is. So even though some of those charges are old from back in the day and it may not be under the rules of evidence it may be so long ago that you can't use that to impeach a person which is to use it as a way to show their incre their, their you know their credibility because and when it has to do with theft and dishonesty those are things that you impeach someone with on the stand like in in 2023 isn't it true that you were accused of robbing someone and you were convicted and you you know because the jury is gonna look at them like we can't trust you because you're a thief anything with anything involving theft and dishonesty but his was so long ago his attorney has an argument not to have let it come in because usually there is a time frame like 10 years or something but if you decide you want to talk about how great you are, then they can have an argument to open up the open up the door to let it in. Louise, thank you so much for the cash app. I appreciate you. But yeah, um, if you open up that door, then you're gonna let them be able to come in and show how jacked up you are. That means I can I can call a Hazel, I can call uh the other young lady that went on um grown woman vibe. And she did the interview. I don't know if you guys checked that out. I can call all these people because you've opened up the door and you're basically trying to put your character on blast. So now I get to go to that. So everything is not as cut and dry as she's, she's claiming that it is. Sonya claims that it is. But I definitely wouldn't be having a bunch of people that did time with me as a character witness. That just sounds stupid. Dean Matthews, thank you, you said, for all the lame and boring intellects out here who like to kick back and learn at the same time. Thank you and happy birthday. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate that and I appreciate the comment. We're all law nerds over here. Carlise said, I wanted you to give you $1 for every year around the sun. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yes, I'm 25 then. I'll take that. I ain't seen 25 in so long, but I'll take I take that. I think I I've been out of high school longer than that, but I take that. That's a compliment. Thank you so much. More and thank you so much for the super sticker. I appreciate you. You guys are showing out. Thank you so much. Let's let's get back to the video. It's like a chat line and they all they be asking questions as they playing your video. Then them haters that come in now that don't been hurt, don't been abused. Uh, don't probably had a man that do way worse than what you done done. But I don't see why Shirley couldn't have picked up on this. And I don't see why Shirley couldn't have picked up. You say we haters and we probably had a man that's done worse than what he's done. I mean, what? Like, he had to give me some examples. What does he feel like is worse? I Maybe unaliving somebody. Cause that's about the only step up that I can really see right now. Cause if that was me, I would have did this. You know, where in the world he would have been having my all my finding. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. But you can tell they're angry. They mad. Mad right. at what? Right. And it'd be funny. And, and first of all, I want to have no finances. What the hell are they talking about? Well, no, no, no. So they, don't, 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 don't answer the question. But don't just, I'm just, but don't answer it because you just. What y'all think he mean by he wasn't handling any finances? Because the thing is this, maybe she kept her money away from him and then, but she still thought that he was handling the business as the man of the house to handle their house because I'm going to assume that she knew if her name was on that lease of that last house that caused a lot of this where Erica came in as the attorney, I'm going to assume Shirley would have showed up for showed up for court especially knowing that she would end up getting her wages garnished i'm i'm gonna assume that so you signed off when the eviction papers were delivered it was your signature on that return card then you show up then you have this person erica who says her name is april holloway but you knew that wasn't her name because you've tagged her way too many times on instagram to know what her name is 
So all of this, somebody I thought that was a lawyer and all that stuff just sounds real ridiculous because literally your Instagram page counters all of that because you tagged Erica. You did not tag April Holloway nowhere. And I will put that up. I will have screenshots all up and on the screens up in court to show that you did, you were tagging Erica with her picture. And that's who that was. It was not in April. So you knew exactly who you were dealing with. But the point is, if they were, if, you know, the whole finance thing, maybe he just presented himself like, I can take care of you. So when it came to everyday life, she was the one that took care of, he took care of the bills, so she thought. So maybe she kept her money and she helped take care of her daughter or past bills she had or past debt or whatever. So she wasn't worried about the current state. And then he would listen to hear, like, I remember one call, she was talking about how she complained about the house. And she said, I, I got to be careful with what I say because I complained. And then next thing you know, you know, I really liked the house, but then we were gone. So you're making it seem like there weren't evictions is what it sounded like with her. Like it wasn't evictions. Like she just said, I don't like the house and you guys left. So maybe that's why, see see how he plays? He just plays with words. So it's like, I didn't have nothing to do with the finances. But did you have something to do with whether the bills were supposed to be paid that you guys both lived at? The car notes were supposed to be paid? The insurance, was that your responsibility? So that's what I think. Maybe she just, he came to her like a captain, save him. And then he was going to take care of all her bills because he knew she had struggled. She had all these issues before financially. He's talked about this openly with everybody knowing it's recorded cause that she had all these financial issues and issues with money. And so now you're basically like, oh, I got you, boo. You ain't got the well, you don't even gotta put gas in your car. I'm gonna pay the car note, I'm gonna get the tags, and I'm gonna put gas in your car because I'm just that guy. And that, you know, and that was something maybe she wasn't used to, and that's what it, that's what I think attracted her to him. Cause if you look at the pictures and stuff, he does have all the fleet of cars with it, the name on it. You know, it does give a it does give a perception that he has a few dollars and that he's a successful business person. Give them, you're feeding off on the stuff that they think. Right. I'm just telling you what they be saying. So don't, don't, don't. Right. Because we, I'm, I, we probably giving them, by me and you, we, we, we would give them the real true answer that what they're seeking for or what they're looking for. They call me and thinking based on what they think they know, what they wouldn't do. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. And I'm so tired of talking about Cheryl, I don't know what to do. I really am. I really am. I don't like that either. Get that woman alone. And you should. Yeah. Let her deal with what she got to deal with. And, and she's a sister. And these are sisters talking about another sister. That, that's a bad situation now. That's, 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 that's what's messed up. Yeah, you got the guys calling in. Too. Now, let me tell you what's messed up. What's messed up is the fact that you knew the position that Shirley was in. You knew her status. You knew all of that. And you didn't take none of that into consideration. And you had no problem embarrassing the hell out of her, doing things all around town, messing with women, doing whatever, that regardless to whether these phone calls came out, you think there weren't whispers around where she lived at? You have people that have said, I started to write Shirley a letter. There are probably women that have written Shirley letters under a, under a disguise and basically advising Shirley of what situation she was in. That's embarrassing. You walking in a place arm in arm with somebody and this chick's like you walking. She got pictures in the, in the barbershop, but there's allegations. Again, they're just allegations that he was messing with people in the barbershop that Shirley is smiling in the pictures with. That's embarrassing. That's what's a shame. So while you sit up here and talk about us, Talking about Shirley and embarrassing her, you were the first person that embarrassed her. And you embarrassed her on a daily basis because you didn't think enough about her where, well, let me go to Africa or something and go mess with somebody on the corner. Let me go. You you up there in your own area in Georgia 
in your barbershop where she may come in and doing all this stuff allegedly. Just ridiculous. But we embarrassing them. We, we ought to be ashamed of ourselves. Thank you, Aisha. We ought to be ashamed of ourselves. But you out here making her, and you knew you knew that it would be a big thing if anybody found out because of who she was. Because I don't care how much Sonya tries to minimize it, who Shirley is. I don't Shirley was doing radio before Steve Harvey was doing radio. While Steve was still out here trying to do stand-up and get his way in the little little holes, little hole in the wall comedy clubs around the country trying to get his thing together. Shirley's been on the radio. Now, she may not be the current generation because Shirley's going to be 70 years old. So don't minimize the impact she's actually had in radio. And you knew that. And the reason why we know you knew it is because every single woman said that you let them know who, who your wife was. You let them know who your wife was, according to one of them, when you were just engaged to her and she wasn't even your wife. So embarrassment, embarrassment. If you were concerned about embarrassing her, you would have watched the way you moved. So that's that. Don't talk about anybody embarrassing anybody out here on YouTube. That would be you. Some of them. Not, not as much as the women, though. You have more women calling in than guys. They want to chime in and put their little two cents in, too. And you sit your bitch ass down some damn well. Wow. And you yeah. probably out here. And, and then they act like they've been in church and Sunday school all their life and don't walk the straight high like they ain't never done nothing in their life either. This is true. This, this is true. So let me be clear on his telephone. I, yes, I do know you. I, I mean, allegedly, until you get proven guilty, but now whatever. If it's, if it's, I'm gonna be the first one just like them. If they find evidence and you did it, then you already know you ain't new to this game. You don't been down this road plenty of times before. If you get caught, you get caught. You gotta do what you gotta do. We don't been there, done that. Same thing with me. And I don't need a crime now. You gotta do what you gotta do. If you didn't do it, then so be it. But you already know why you're in there. You're going to get accused of doing it. Yeah, this is true. This is true. You already know that. This is true. But it's just them folks that just don't know. They're just calling in from California or from all these different states. China. Well, he was in California, so he had a warning. See, what's tripping me out, too, is he had a warning in California related to cars as well. They're just not coming to pick him up because they like, we're not going to extradite him. But if he come in California, you are. It's basically what they said. But we're not going to hop on a plane. You got more issues over there in Fulton County. <laughs> we're not hopping on planes and sending our officers to come get you. But baby, you bring your tail back over here. And remember, in California, he was trying to do like high-end transportation because it was videos of Shirley driving these expensive cars and stuff and that's what it has to do with some cars or something in California so they're not even coming for you then you had a warrant in Henry County when this happened so even if you get bond and you somehow get all of able to pay this bond and you get out you still got to go to Henry County I, it's like it's the short term memory for me and a lot of these phone calls thank you so much Aries for the super chat you said happy birthday please not my government <laughs> okay thank you so much i appreciate all of the love just like with everybody else you guys are showing out and i appreciate it i appreciate the love i really do oh my goodness let's get back to it i'm in here just speaking mm. That's it. Not, 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 not that grand old Fanay name in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. because, because she done put that shit out there. Mm-hmm. I know she did. Because she's looking for some, some kind of uh, uh, extra shit. Don't give them. Yeah, don't, don't, yeah, don't give them too much information, buddy. Okay. Yeah, don't give them too much information. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. see, the stuff that you're getting ready to say, the videos that I watched last night, that's what they doing now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the video. I mean, the uh, not the video, but the YouTube thing. That's what they now they they trying to figure out the relationship between Shirley, Panay. Why is uh, Sheridan now hanging with Panay now over there at her shop and all that? 
So they trying to put to, they they piecing all the video together now, trying to figure out. Yeah, they are. I heard it last night. Oh, so the, so this so she must have introduced. Yeah, yeah, I know they was they they might have been going through the same hairstylist. And if Tanae introduced Andre, when I tell you these a lot of these women want what they think that you have. They'll look at you and feel like your relationship is great. And it makes them feel good. Like, oh, she over there smiling. This wife or whatever thinks that she's happy. But her husband laying up with me. Like, they take they take glee and pride in that. It's the oddest thing ever in life. The fact that you think you're happy and you think your husband is really being faithful to you. But I know the truth, even though I got to be hidden. Even though I ain't coming to Christmas dinner, I'm not going on family vacations. He can't post me on Instagram or or Facebook. He can't do no videos with me. He can't be in my chat. But I'm just happy knowing that I'm sleeping with your husband or I'm sleeping with. And then the whole thing is a lot of the guys, they know the game. They'll tell you, and they know women are like that. Like just a couple of weeks ago, I was at the post office and a guy was like trying to talk to me. And he was like, I'm married. He showed me his ring. So clearly this is just different times where people just don't give a dang. Like they just don't care. And then again, you see what Sonia fits the whole prototype because she tells him everything he wants to hear. We know in real life, when you're at home and you're married, you got to deal with kids, you got to deal with bills, you got to deal with um, health issues, you have to deal with jobs, you got to deal with just life in general, right, as a family. So the stressors, everything is at your house. But if you have a side chick, they're just happy to have 10 minutes with you. So they're going to do whatever you want. Let me make sure you eat. Let me go rub your scalp. Let me go do this and do it to make it that little 20%. That's why it's called the 80-20 rule. That's what they fulfill. And they think that that is going to make a guy leave their wife for them. Now, there are some dudes that have left and went to the mistress and a lot of times they regret it. But for the most part, that's what you are. They don't even want to leave their wife. It's a lot of men that's been separated from their wives and they won't get a divorce because they don't. they still know that they want their wife to be the beneficiary of all their stuff. So it's a lot to this stuff. From the evidence in here, Mr. Shirley, she dead ass wrong. So now they're trying to put stuff together. Oh, they're trying okay. to put together. I already know. I was there at the shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you first introduced me to the shop, I, I, I was there. I was there. I, I was at the shop. I, I, I was there. I met both of them. Yeah. Yeah. So watch that. You want to get in there and sit there. It didn't happen like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But but they but but they trying to piece it together, brothers. They trying to piece it together. I hope you do get found innocent and clear all charges and get you a book deal or get you a movie. I hope you get found innocent too, because I would hate for somebody to really have been RA by you, SA by you. I wouldn't want that to happen to anyone. Same thing with pictures or whatever, and actually a child being depicted doing the things that's being alleged. So from that end, I wouldn't want nobody to be victimized. So I'm agree with you on that. One. I'm agree with you on that. But on the flip side, if it was you, I hope that you get everything and some that you desire. Made out for this and get you some a couple of millions and and it's legit because I already know you're gonna cut the guy dog on food. I already know that. And then come back two or three years from now and be like get you and talk about everything that went on and and and, and see what they say now and see who's gonna jump on your bandwagon if anybody jump on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They become yeah. that for a damn job. Yeah, yeah you, you're right. And I did it. And I know they probably saying he's Drake's full of shit. Drake just <laughs> naive and dumb as him. <laughs> what? The, they jail buddies. Oh, I'm sure when they hear this video. Right. But let me tell you something else I noticed too. And and one of the bloggers said last night they pick and choose the videos that they the the, the jail calls that they want to play to. They ain't playing. Ain't no blogger said that. Sonya said that. Nobody picks and choose anything. 
It's what comes out because there are 900 phone calls, as they said. Plus, you try to hide and use other people's pens or whatever you're doing to try to keep us from, you know, keep them from getting the phone calls. So it's not picking and choosing. You have to go through that. I got a disc of the phone calls and I'm going to be, and I had them back in September or August. Ask me how many I listened to. Because I looked at it, I was like, don't nobody have time. I don't even want to look at the phone calls I'm supposed to listen to for my own clients. Now I'm supposed to listen to these. I wait for phone calls from prison. <laughs> and that's what I have done is wait for theirs and then I critique what they do. But it's not a purposeful thing like what's juicy and what's not juicy or whatever. Yeah, I mean, she tries to, of course, we want to hear things that's interesting and have substance to it, but. A lot of these phone calls, they probably haven't even gotten to yet. And all of them. See, the ones that ain't got no substance to it, they try to get the ones that's messy that they can twist and turn. Right. Because a lot of me, a lot of me in your jail calls talking about positive stuff ain't being aired, ain't being played. Like what? Uh, I ain't heard, I ain't heard them. Wow. I, I ain't heard them. Now, if I sit here and say something and, and they think it's something that they want to hear, oh, they'll put that one on there tomorrow. Damn. That's what I do notice. That's what I do notice. Since since we've been talking, a lot of them ain't came out. No, they ain't mm -mm. putting nothing positive. Hang on, yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. All negative. But if you did, if you get a chance and it cross your mind, I would like to just you know check in, with Sherry, just check on it. Not, not for me now, just just for health and everything. Look at them. Just fake. You can't just say you miss her and you miss her coins and you miss her support. And see, that's another thing, too. There has been this talk. Because I, I know that there is a blogger that went to go see him. And it's not no shade or whatever to go see him. But the proposition that I'm doing this for prayer and scriptural basis and this I may be the only... The only example of a godly person is insane to me and let me tell you why it's insane and i was very disappointed i'm not gonna lie the last two weeks i've been toiling because i've actually windmilled for this person with other people that were trying to like drag her but surely if you guys listen to those phone calls from the beginning shirley has always said she prayed she told him what scriptures to read. She told him they had the Job situation. She had her daily breads or her little book, inspirational book. She would give him scriptures. She told him to stay prayed up. As a wife, she was trying to cover him. A wife with a covenant with him. She was trying to cover him. This Negro would get off of the conversation with Shirley and then go call a side chick. And then have a whole different conversation where he's cussing every two minutes where you wouldn't even know he just had a whole religious conversation with somebody who had his back, who was standing by her man, who had the money, was was willing to give money that she did not have, spent over 40000 that we know of just on a lawyer. So we're not talking about phone calls. We're not talking about commissary. We're not talking about any of that or or what she had to do to pick up and rebuild her life because she was with somebody else. She had all of that. And you think you're going to go down there all of a sudden and you're going to be the example of what a godly person is. And I, I'm not buying it. I'm sorry. That man, like I said, he had an example and he made choices. And his choice was, I'm not going to apply not a damn thing that I'm alleging to my wife that I believe. And see, people got to stop. We got a God of the Bible and a God of some people's imaginations. And, and, and I just, I'm just of the firm belief that a lot of people just do not necessarily follow the God as it is in the Bible. And that's a lot of what the problem is because we all heard those phone calls. So I was just grappling with that. And I have made so many excuses for some of the flip flopping. And then I was like, you know, when I heard that, it just threw me off. I'm not going to lie. It just totally threw me off. So anyways, I had to get on that soapbox real quick because that was really bothering me. I was like, what? Grown woman, I 
I was trying, girl. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate you up here late with us too. I just, I was trying. I was like, don't do that. That's not cool. No, don't do that. And then I just was like, I can't do it no more. I just can't. And I had so many. It was one person that she was beefing with. And I was like, why are you doing this? That is just so mean. Why are you doing that? Leave this lady alone. I was really behind the scenes. And then this happened. It was like, I had to apologize. Like, <laughs> like damn. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much again, Grown Woman Vibes. I know you just got off, too, child. I was on here because it's my birthday, so I wanted to bring it in with the with the intellects. So, And I know a lot of your people over here, too. So thank you guys so much for supporting. <sighs> Let's go ahead. I don't want to be, oh, he, 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 oh, no. But now, you know, I thought about, you thought, I thought about that. And even before you said that, I wanted to do that because I don't want her to think. I heard her on one of the videos that she made a statement and said all of this is on her and the lawyers and stuff. And then if you made bond, it's going to be on me. Cause she said, and I, and I didn't, and, and, and it is. Yeah. 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 No, not surely. Not surely. On one of the bloggers, oh. they got, they got one of y'all phone calls, but she's talking about the lawyers or whenever you're supposed to be doing the money. And Shirley made a statement and just, I guess everybody, everybody in the world know that sure, uh, what you call it, paying for the lawyers, sure, okay. award paying for them. They know that. Okay. So Ms. Shirley made the statement and said everything was on her that she was running out of money or whatnot, whatever. They gonna take that and run with that. That she ain't got no car right now. She need transportation. That's headline news in the blog. Okay. That they talking about. But I don't understand why they ain't got that ad that you got. Why is that not headline news? No, it's right. But look at what she done been through or look at what she's going through, and that's fine. And all because she's helping her husband. That's what they don't like. I got you. I got you. I got you. Prior to you, she had all that. All that. Quite a cap. For all that. This is true. This is true. <sighs> Jesus. This, I don't know. I'm just glad <laughs> you get about this goddamn shit. Uh, I'm telling you now, I really do. It's coming, man. It's coming. Trust me. It's coming. We just got to keep living, man. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, I, got some I pray for you. Yeah. yeah, I pray for you. I go he, Dre said he praying for him, too. It looks like he got some prayer warriors out here already. <laughs> Thank you so much, B-Fly828. I appreciate that super chat. He said, happy birthday, Pammy Pam. Thank you so much. I appreciate the love and support. He already know. He know. If, he he, know. If, if, if he's innocent, clean. When you get him out of there, you got, you're going to have to cover him. Absolutely. Absolutely. Don't know about it, but you know. You, you you need to deal with him. And he know, too. And he know. He know. Right. <laughs> he know. He definitely know. Boy. Well, well, you know what? Like I said, like, do time. It took some time for you to see and listen and, and, and do your due diligence, how you do your thing, and open your eyes up because the people doing it for you. You, you well, look past the bullshit. You gotta yeah. Bullshit. You're good yeah. You. So, yeah. Now, this is what I want to ask you. And I'm going to ask this. Because I heard some statements that I didn't too tough care for. And it concerned me. And I understand when you got the news the other day, you see it that you just want to break. Oh, thank you so much, Nyla. I appreciate it. Gave me the $50 super chat. Thank you so much. She said, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the love and support. Now you want to just make you cry or feel like your world is coming. You ain't going to never get out. Okay, I got all that. And and what they're trying to do, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I heard you say that. Now, I just need to hear from you as your buddy bloggers as your real true friend that I've been knowing whatever whatever goes on or whatever come out of this you're going you're going I know you're going to come through this shit right that's the part that I don't want to be worried about and you can cry all you want to you can you can go walk the yard and and that's what we do and and, and get this go lift some weights or whatever get the frustration out right. I'm talking about giving up and all that other stuff right there right right well Here's the thing. 
Um, I'm not, I'm not giving up. I don't have that kind, of, that kind of feeling. It's just sometimes, you know, you, my mouth gets sewed up right now. You ever seen that movie called uh, Getting Out? Right? You seen that movie Getting Out? Where the black dude was getting trapped by the white lady, and she was with the white, and he cut, and them, and the people couldn't talk because they had hypnotized him, and their true self couldn't come out. That's how I was. That's how I was feeling. Um, what you guys help me interpret because this is this is our Ar Ernesto has his own language, so I might need you guys to interpret because I don't know what it, what this analysis is, this analogy. I don't understand it right now. What are you even talking about? Getting out is he talking about the movie Get Out? Isn't that what it's called? Getting out is he talking about Get Out? I'm, I'm not understanding the connection. I'm feeling like that now. You know I'm saying towards the end now, and more and more coming that God is showing me the light. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it's kind of uh, why I can't. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta you be prideful. Be prideful will kill you too. Uh, and on top of that is, on top of that is the devastation that somebody puts title on me like that. And no, no, God, no, that's not my my mo. I don't give a damn about anything else. But as I done did all that that time before, because somebody didn't do, and then I know the rules, that that was the part that, damn, this is how I'm going to die. I'm going to die for something that I, that's not my MO. Do you think it just took me everything in my power uh, just to, to call you, to tell you what they charged me with? Right. You had to call him because who were you going to get to put on your books? <laughs> Whose house were you going to put? You were back there thinking, whose house can I get? Because I don't own one. I talk about everybody on the internet. I tell all of the YouTubers, probably most of us own our homes, but I tell most of the YouTubers that they don't have anything, that they're broke, they don't have any money. But then I hear you on these calls begging for $100 and saying you don't have anything. Or you doing the five-minute free calls on Tuesday because you don't have anybody that's willing to accept your phone calls. So we know why you called, Dre. Don't make, I had to tell my buddy. No, you had to tell him because you needed that $100. You had to tell him because you needed him to call Shirley on three-way when Shirley wasn't picking up the phone because you couldn't use Sonya for that. Like, come on. Let's just not, it's just the, the gamesmanship. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to. That's a call. That's like a death call to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I had to call you because you're my buddy. I had to call you and tell you uh, what these folks were doing to me. So it's it, it, it just, it just, yeah. But I'm, I'm better. You had to call him and tell him what these folks were doing to him. What? It's never your fault. Nothing. None of it. None of it. It's never your fault. Now, I'm not taking no medication. I'm not no seeing no psychiatrist. I'm not, I'm not broke down like that. <laughs> no, I'm not, not broke down like that. That's not what you said in court. You said that you had some health issues on the last motion. See, this is the type of stuff that I'm talking about. See, when he talked to Shirley, and this is why I know the prosecutors aren't on their P's and Q's either, because when he mentioned having health problems on that last motion when he was trying to get bond. He mentioned having the health issues. And I, I'm thinking because of the stuff that happened with Erica, because that's what people in prison do. I told you I do wrongful convictions. If I get somebody else out, then they try to fit their case into their case and say, that happened to me. I had the same investigator. I had the same. That happened to me. My, my, you know, they come up with stuff where everybody tries to fit it out because if it works for them, then they feel like it's, if it worked for that person, it's going to work for them. So what he did was he seen Erica. He now at this point, I'm sure Sonya read all the stuff of why Erica got out. So he said, wait a minute, I got health problems too. So then that's what he was trying to use. And the judge basically was like, You should have thought about all those health health problems when you was committing them crimes. That's pretty much what Judge Adams said. <laughs> judge Adams snapped at him and said, You should have thought about all of that and the health care you might need before you were out here doing the things you're being accused of. That's what you should have been doing. But if you really look at Shirley's, like the earlier phone calls, all he kept talking about was how healthy he was. 
He just thanked God he got his health and his strength. If he would have said that, if those prosecutors were smart, they would have clipped all of those little um, phone calls where he was saying how healthy he was. Now you're saying you're healthy again. This is why you don't need to talk as much as you talk. Because for you to have been in prison as long as you have been in and out of the system, you don't use your brain. Like you don't automatically think from a legal perspective. You just think you can out slick people like you do on the street. No, I'm not broke down like that because see, I, I got to keep, listen, what I want to say is that uh, um, news like that, that shit will have you so fucked up. It's like, a, it's like me being a woman and a child of mine got killed and she don't know why the baby got killed. I got you. Exactly. I'm with you. I, I feel you. I went through the similar thing through my divorce. Yes. Yes. When they saying I was stalking, I was a stalker. And <laughs> I was I was a threat to her and I was dangerous and she, they didn't know who I was no more. I don't know if he's gonna kill me or not. You know what I'm saying? Well, huh? well, 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 I've been, yeah, I been with you fifteen, twenty years, but no 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 no. I got it. But what I'm saying was she knew the deal. You knew the deal, but that white man, the DA that was trying to prosecute me, that was trying to get a case, he didn't know the deal. That's the picture that he playing. Right. All the different was between your situation and mine, I was out here and I was able to fight it from out here. Nesto better hope he don't have that same prosecutor. I don't know his name, but the one that's usually on the Zooms, he lets him have it, man. The one that did the the original bond hearing on these PC, DCP charges, that was crazy when he was like, well, he has the, that's when he said, we heard jail phone calls where he has a girlfriend in Florida that was spilling all of it. Well, well, Judge Manny, we're not even going to go on and just, um, you know, you know this guy. This guy's been in front of you numerous times. I don't even have to talk about how jacked up he is. Yep, we're still investigating. We got several warrants. I mean, he lets him have it every time. Every time he's like, so he better hope he gets somebody different that's doing night court tomorrow. Because if he has him, he's going to have $20 off of his bond for each one. Judge Maddie might say, you get $20 off of each count. I went in there. I had to go to different, 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 different lawyers to try to fight it. Because so they were destroying my character, too. Yeah, I was, nigga was cutting the food because I was hurt a little bit. I might have said some things or whatnot, whatever. But in that court room, that shit he was talking about? No. Then you lying on me, too? Yeah, I, I, remember, I remember them folks calling yeah. you out. I remember when they called yeah. you both. And they uh, both. Yeah. Then now, now, now you're trying to say I'm a convicted felon with a firearm. Now, 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 now the gun overruled everything. He's going back for this. That ain't my gun. My daddy gun. And it was. Yeah. But I had to fight. Yeah, to fight. Had to fight. They put the motherfucker all the way in your lap, like you finna go all the way hand. Sure, always. always. <laughs> Come out. My fingerprints was on it and everything. Oh, he had it. He was going to kill her that night. He was out there in powder rain. Oh, what's that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I wanted to see what she cheated. I did, but I didn't have no gun in my hand. But that's the lawyer sent it off and filed for the fingerprints and whatnot, whatever. And the first fingerprint. Dre started, these are my confessions. He started telling all his background. I'm like, what? Stalking? Huh? Fingerprints on the GU? What is happening, Dre? Did you want to let, like, maybe he's trying to put it out there because he feels like eventually. Because listen. I need Nyla and them to come where be my investigators to help me out with my cases. Because, baby, if it's out there to be found, they are going to find it. <laughs> and I think Dre knows this. So you know how sometimes you want to tell your own story. So maybe that's what he's doing right now. This was methodical. Where he's like, I know the phone calls are coming out. They know I did time with him because it's actually on one of the incident reports. So before they start looking into me and what I've done, let me go ahead and plead my case that it was all a lie and it was all a setup. Because why are you just going into, I know what happened because it, it happened to me. Why would you even go through all of this? This is supposed to be about, you know, Nesto. You only got 30 minutes. First not on that gun at all. But that's what the DA said. Right, that's what the DA said, but I didn't give up. 
Right. And the right, the right lawyer, the, the right fighter. I did. And it cost me too for being, well, let's be clear. My stupidity should have sent out some damn well. Well. <laughs> Well, I'm going to say this right here. This, you know, all that stupidity I got right here is trying to help somebody, and them people know who they are, and I guarantee mm-hmm. they're fucked up right now. And I know mm. they're fucked up right now. And I know in the back of the head, damn, man, you know what? That motherfucker did take his time to help me. So guess what? Let that be known as well on the statement. And motherfucker know that. So I ain't, I'm ain't. i not going to sit here and, and twist myself and say, oh, man, I shit. No, sometimes... You know, some people are cold blooded. Man, fuck no people. Let people to get figure shit out on their own. You need people. Sometimes you need people. Need people to goddamn make success go. I don't give a damn what nobody say. You can't do it all by yourself. You can't. You well, I. T- yeah. Well, I tell you what. I tell you, I'm gonna tell you this. I don't know. Wait a minute, Dre. Hold on one second. So, the whole they have. There are people that do prison ministries. Um, and usually they do have them within the jail. I know people that come on Sundays, they have church. If you want to be involved in it, those opportunities are there. That That is part of the side-eyeing. I don't think that was the origination because if you're taking questions for people to ask questions that they have, then that's what you really went for. Now, something must have changed where all of a sudden you couldn't ask the questions that you were going to ask perhaps. And so now you you turn it into this. I'm not buying it. Again, I'm not trying to, I don't care that much to dig too deep into it. I just look at it as eyes being open, you know, as to how some people are. Because I was literally out here windmill and I ain't gonna lie to you. Because it was some people that I know that I have close contact with and talk to offline that were like saying different things or posting things. I'm like, stop doing that. That's not cool. But then it was the whole flip flop. And I've always been neutral for the most, like when it comes to the legal thing, I'll tell you, like I said, I don't like, I don't like him, but legally y'all, this is what he gets. He needs due process. If he's, if he does this, he needs to be convicted and it needs to be a valid, if they don't have the evidence, let them work behind the scenes, present the evidence, and then he gets off. And I don't have no problem coming on and saying, dang, he got off on that. Or he was found not guilty on this, and he was found guilty on this, or it was a hung jury. I was going to go to the trial. I'm all about the fairness of the judicial system. We only know, we at first, we only really knew one side. But then these phone calls was the problem because he, between him and Sonia, they were telling us our defense. And then it was very interesting because one of the videos that this person had, this is what really made me start thinking differently. Even before the jail visit, one phone call, one one visit, there was information given that the person that is accused of, that has accused him of the most heinous crime of it all, the young girl, she scared, she ran, they can't find her. And I'm like, well, who told you that? Because the, the I'm sure the prosecutor ain't call you and tell you the girl they can't find her and that's why she's not indicted. So that was kind of like what really made me start thinking like, okay, now this is something Sonia has said that she believes is what's going on, which honestly would not be uncommon because I have not met one person that has accused somebody of that crime and they want to go look into their the person that has victimized them. I, who wants to sit in a courtroom and look at somebody that has done something to them over the years or trafficked them or whatever is alleged? Who wants to do that? No, they don't want to testify. They actually would prefer that you plead, plea out so that they don't have to deal with it at all. That's what they prefer. So that's not uncommon for them not to want to testify or not for them to show up. But my issue was, when, who the hell told you that that was what it was? And then I realized that was something Sonia said. Then information about the family's background came out. What does her family's background got to do with anything? And that's a dangerous territory for you to be in. Why? Because part of the factors for bond is that you're not intimidating witnesses. If you got people out here windmilling, looking up family members and doing background checks, 
I, as a victim, can call and say, listen, I just happened to stumble across these videos, and this is what this video says. So when I started looking at that, I said, oh, no, there's a whole flip-flop. It's okay if you say innocent until proven guilty, because that's what I say. It's okay, but stick to stick to the actual individual people if it makes sense. Like to say, basically you saying because my mama is a is a crook, then I couldn't that couldn't have happened to me. My daddy's a crackhead, so that couldn't have happened to me. That that's nonsensical to me, and that's not even common sense, and that's not even anything to put out there. So things like that is not a legal, that's not a legal mind. It's not an analysis. It's bull crap. And so that couple with the visit, I was like, yeah, I can't even make no excuses no more. Let me apologize for everybody out and cussed out on her behalf. <laughs> Woo. That's all. So that was that. But anyway, let me see. I missed the um, super chat. M. Body Kumba said, even the former worker that Nyla interviewed admitted that they couldn't half understand what Nestle was talking about most of the time. I just was very, very curious on who told you. You telling me the prosecutor is giving you this information? The prosecutor told you, oh, we can't indict because we don't even know where she is. And that could be the case. It wouldn't be the first time and it wouldn't be the last time. But who gave you this information is what I'm saying. And like I said, the only person that I saw that said that was Sonia on a call when she said well, what it is. is she pro If they can even find her, she's probably out of town because she probably left because she was lying anyway. This is what Sonia was saying because she lied and she feel bad. She probably scamming like her mama. So then for you to come back and come up with all the paperwork on the mama and the auntie slash grandma, and then say they went out of town, like it don't take a rocket scientist on where that came from. So we could, we could disguise it. And the thing about church, and baby, I'm a preacher's kid. Church teaches people how to be so delusional and to lie. How many people do you go up to in church and you're like, how you doing? I'm blessed and highly favored when you know you broke. You don't know how you about to pay your bills. Your husband is a bum. Like, you can't even, like, be honest. It teaches you how to lie and use the scripture to cover up your lies. You got to know God for yourself. That's the thing that church, black church specifically, organized religion, you have to take away. When I, when I meet people that weren't raised in the church, they are the most easiest to learn God for themselves. Because now we got to unlearn all of the stuff, all of the indoctrination. And then we have to learn and read the word for ourselves and ask for interpretation for ourselves and learn it for ourselves. It's the, but you know, that's a whole nother conversation. We're not going to get that deep over here because it's my birthday. <sighs> Getting all deep over here. You said once I seen that she originally started her channel as an R. Kelly supporter, I knew that she wasn't a true believer. <laughs> Um, did she go see Nesto before or after? It was after the Sonya interview. Yes. It was after the fact. Mm-hmm. That's very sad and says a lot if she ran away. Victim. Y'all, I think people don't know what victim intimidation is. And y'all know these car these um these these calls are out here. I'm just saying what I would do. I, if it happened to me, I would be nervous if somebody was looking in my background. People think physical contact or you personally contacting them or being in their vicinity. Witness intimidation can actually, it's more, it's more encumbersome than that. And I'm not saying that's what she's doing or what they're doing, but you got to be careful. You have to be careful. That's why Sonia out here talking on his behalf to me is not that beneficial for him. That's why I'm sure his lawyer was like, can you stop talking about your case on the phone? Because you know that they're going to play it. If you have defenses, save it for that time. Save it for the time when you got to put your defenses up. When you give your defenses and you let them know your defense, you show your hand and they can just go. If the dates are wrong, they can go amend the complaint and go put more dates on there and change them. Like you're giving them, you're showing your hand and it's ridiculous. I haven't really heard a real valid argument yet though. But yeah. But um, I just, man, 
He said, I pray God that some relate to the victim that may be in the bushes. Take the advice of Pam. The fact that she started arguing back and forth with other pissy pie popper lovers told me she wanted him all to <laughs> You know what, Andre? <laughs> Michelle said, why would the prosecutor tell you anything? I, listen, I, that's my point. I'm like, I know the, because honestly, I know the defense doesn't want us talking about Nesto, period. They don't want these calls out. They don't want us to even discuss this case at all. They don't. So because of that, you know, it's like, I know you ain't got no information like that from anybody. Like, it just, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know where it came. So all of a sudden, you just, everything this girl said, you the one putting up the documents. I'm like, man, this is insane to me. But hey, to each their own. <laughs> you said Sonya caused the attorney so much, they block her cause. And we will block cause. <laughs> Lovely True Red said, amen, get to know God for yourself. That's the way you got to do it, man, because otherwise church you have can have you jacked up. And I'm not saying, I think you do need to, um, you, you do need fellowship. I think you do need people of like minds. I'm not, you know, I'm not opposed to any of that. But you have got to learn. That's why people don't even know they jacked up. They telling you, you jacked up, but they all jacked up. Because in their minds, they feel they go out of church. A lot of people go to church out of routine. They don't go for a relationship. That's a difference. Because your grandma had you going at five years old. You go every Sunday and you like to post Sunday suit. Look at my Sunday shoes. That's it. But you want hell on your wheels Monday through Saturday. You don't know how to handle real crisis in life. You don't help people. You don't help the poor like you're supposed to. You don't pray. You don't ask the Holy Spirit for any information, advice, or downloads. But on Sunday, you there rocking back and forth to get that high. It's an adrenaline rush. You get, And a lot of these pastors, unfortunately, they don't mind you being ignorant. Because the ignorance means you rely on me. So you're going to come on Sunday. You're going to pay your money thinking that's how you get blessed. It's a racket. To me, it's no, I, a lot of this to me was developed the same way how you had the slave system. So now black people just do it where you got the leader. They, I, they idolize the leader, which is idolatry, which is unbiblical. And then you, with my pastor, my pastor, that you got people that will feed their pastor a plate before they feed their husband a plate. Make that make sense. You got people that your lights ain't, your lights do, your light bill do, but you're going to go in the dark on Monday because you want to make sure you pay your, your money to the church and your pastor's driving Bentleys. Does that make sense to anybody? I just, but I'm just saying like some of the brainwashing of it all. So just because you throw holy, oh, everybody's against me because God is on my side. Oh, I'm one of his favorites. People just hating because, you know, I do anything for God. I'm going to do what God tells me. I'm not going to do what man tells me. All of those talking points, I can see right through it. Baby, been there, done that. My dad is a pastor in the AME church for over 40 years. It ain't nothing I ain't seen in the church. Nothing. You name it, I've seen it or been through it. You said, I just hope Judge Manning doesn't risk her bench seat messing around with the nonsense. I don't think so. I think she's very, um, Judge Manning, I've watched her. I think she's very good. She's actually one of the better attorneys that I've seen. Thank you so much, ABC, for the happy birthday. So I'm trying, I know I'm so behind on these doggone comments. He said, it's civil child. I got a case, too, where Nesto actually did file a civil case against the county. And I'm going to go over that. Maybe tomorrow, I'm going to try to go over that either before or maybe tomorrow night. But, baby, that case was hilarious. He actually did sue for, like, $5 million. <laughs> he sued the county when he was in prison last time. So, yeah, he he he's not new to this. He's true to this. Vicky Vale said, I have been said that Sonya just needs to shut up. She's not helping. 
He's telling Dre on the phone that he doesn't know the accusers yet. Sonya has story for each victim. That Vicky Vell, he sure did. I don't even know these people. But then you're on the phone with Sonya, and Sonya got a um story for each and every one of the people that are in these doggone warrants. <laughs> and that's what I said. I, I said that a while ago. I was like, does she realize she actually is placing him there? Like you're actually placing him in vicinity with these people. That's the first thing you do. You got to prove that I even know these people. That's the first step. Might be easy for the prosecutor to do, but dang, don't make it. Don't make anything. Make them work for everything that they got to do. Listen closely. Is anyone listening to her channel anymore? Right, listen, she got people over there. He said, well, now we know who Sonya's private investigator. Ain't no prosecutor told Sylvia nothing. I don't know where she got it from. H how do you, y'all help me understand. How would you get information that the victim has fled and they can't find her? Where would that information come from? You guys help me out. Okay, stay, Bill. Thank you so much for the happy birthday. Aaliyah says she did. The judge told her Shirley is helping behind the scenes. The judge told her Shirley is helping behind us. The judge? Ali, you're going to have to clarify that. Are you saying the judge is talking to her? Wait a minute. The judge told who that Shirley is helping behind us. You're going to have to clarify that because I hope that is not anything that's happening. Um, she said the who told her Shirley was helping. Yeah, look, Ty Wood want to know too. I'm like, what? I, I'm gonna need that that audio because that's crazy. Tabitha said, "I was hurt to my heart when she said God sent Sonya the nasty." I stopped watching her. I heard that too, and I still was just like, um, oh, I'm not gonna. Uh... <laughs> I said. <laughs> I'm still not, you know, I like her, you know, she gave me a couple documents. I used her video, you know, all of that. I was like, okay. <laughs> Alan said, Pam, you preaching on your birthday. Sometimes you got to do it, Alan. They let the PK come up out of you. Tisha said, prosperity pimping. Uh, if y'all want to know how to be prosperous, go read in the book of Kings, go read the Solomon, the King Solomon model. If people will look at that and break down what his prayer was and live your life, your, your life, um, your job, your entrepreneurial life, whatever your profession is, according to that, it will help you tremendously. And it ain't got nothing to do with Now you should. You should give to the poor like that. Biblically, everybody should give to the poor. You help the, the widows and you help the poor. And if you fast like those people that do fast, that's part of it as well. When you look in the book of Isaiah, when it talks about some things don't come out, but by fasting and praying, when you fast, you also should give to the poor as well. So if you're going to fast, do it the biblical way and then you have biblical results. But you don't need a doggone a preacher to tell you that, Chad. Facts, idolatry is a huge problem in this problem with celebrities and whatever other cult leader. Yeah, and they want to keep you that way. They want to keep you that way. They definitely do. Okay, I'm so behind in this chat. So, Alice said people don't study the Bible. They just listen to what others They do. And I, I, I believe that a lot of preachers want you to be that way. Now, if you go to school and you're a theologian and there's things that you could like, I don't know how to speak Hebrew. A lot of words that are translated in English aren't the same in Hebrew. So yeah, those are things I'm not saying I can't be taught, but I'm just saying you have to study for yourself. It's cool to feel good on Sunday, but baby, life hits you Monday through Saturday. Like what you gonna do when life is, that's why you got pastors committing suicide. You got so many things that are happening. People wonder why they were in church their whole life. That was it. They were sitting in church their whole life. <laughs> that was it. That was it. Don't know nothing else, but we get up on Sunday. We put on an outfit and we go to church and we sit on our same row. 
Heal Together said, happy birthday to you. Thank you so much, Heal Together. I appreciate that. I am going to go over that. It'll probably be tomorrow. I'm going to try to go on. Yes, chair. AME. It is Black History Month. If you guys do not know about the AME Church, go look up Richard Allen. He is the founder. Question, is there more than one Judge Manning in Fulton County, Georgia with a YouTube channel? Um, I don't know, but I'll definitely put the link on there again if I don't stream it. And I'll be coming on immediately after. Because the problem with that, like last time, they only talked about Ernest for like, what, five minutes? But we had to sit there for the other people that was on there. So we'll see. Uh, happy birthday. You are so dope. Just happy to be here with you. Thank you. You said I'm a whole vibe. Yes, you are. Thank you so much. Is he getting out today? Chelsea, you being funny. Did you have jokes, Chelsea? Chelsea. Were you serious? Were you serious? Absolutely not. He's trying to lower a bond and he has to try to get a, he still has one, one case where he doesn't have a bond on. He also still has a warrant in Henry County, but I don't think it's a real major thing where he'll probably get a bond on that immediately whenever they send him over. But he still got to deal with that before he comes home. Jay Blair says she said a very reliable source to her that Shirley was still hanging in, but I don't think it was the judge. Well, she probably not hanging in financially. She never told him she never told him that she didn't want to be with him. She just said she needed to separate from him. So maybe she's trying to take it all in and see what happens. She also, to me, she spent enough money, okay? So I think she's done over and beyond. But I, I don't think the fact that he's asking Dre to call her and see how she is and all of that, I don't think she's talking to him or anything. I doubt that. But and she hasn't filed from divorce for divorce that we've seen, unless she filed it in a whole nother county and she'd have moved somewhere. I don't know. Christine said, I was trying to find her YouTube channel. I only see Judge Alex Manning, a white guy. No, it's a white lady. Does she look like a, it? Does say Alex Manning? I think I don't know if it says Alexandria. She's a she is a white lady with a shortcut. You stopped why? And you know, people didn't like the interview. I didn't watch it, so I'm not sure. I I take isn't she funny? Judge Manning is good and funny. I um I actually didn't watch the interview at all. So like I heard little things, like other people were critiquing it. So I watched it on their channels, but I didn't watch it for myself. So. Miss HLS said, I remember her saying that Shirley was helping behind the scenes too. Okay, well, that's interesting. The person that visited stated on the video that the judge says Shirley is helping. The judge says that Shirley, why would the judge be saying anything? Why would some, like, so y'all going to have to show me where to see that. Show me where I can find that at. DM me because I can't see a judge saying, giving any information to some random. Like that's crazy to me. And it's very, if that's the case, like that type of communication is something where her, his attorney can complain about. That's like, why would you, why would a judge be saying that if that happened? I don't, I just, I don't see a judge doing that. Solomon did pray for wisdom. Boop, boop, boop. He said, what Judge Man is doing? I have to post it when we get off of here. I'm going to have to post it. 
some are in here right now commenting, running and telling it will be right over there in the chat doing the same. I said it. That's what I am worthy said, but child, I don't care. It ain't nothing that I can't say to nobody's face. Not at all. If you want to be prosperous, look at the televangelist, the fake. What you want to be pro prosperous, go to BET at night when they have, when they sell the spring water and the special shoes, look in your mailbox and you'll have $10,000. <laughs> Cause me and then we're messing with little boys and messing with little boys. And oh my goodness. Integrity means all. Lady, she's she's can be mistaken for mate, but she identifies as a woman. Oh. oh, so maybe that's what you thought. I'm like, she has a short, short haircut, so maybe that is who you saw. I get what you're saying. That's what I said. I don't know if you may have mistaken her for that, but no. Listen, this is it. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm so behind. Michelle, thank you for the super chat. You said, thanks for all your research and happy birthday. You share my mother's birthday. Happy second heavenly birthday. Happy second heavenly birthday, mom. Shout out to Michelle and her mom. Wow. Thank you. I appreciate that. And you're on here with me on this special day. I do not take that lightly. Are you going to live for the hearing? If they send me the link or whatever, then I'll um, I'll definitely go live and stream it. If not, I'll just post the link to the YouTube and then we can all go over there. Yes. Yes, it is. Kia said, how did Killer Mike win Grammy Awards and get arrested this evening at the event? What'd he do? I think we all want to know what he did. But I think we're more disgusted that you probably could have done this in a whole nother spot. If he had a warrant or something for his arrest, because that's what I heard. There was a warrant. You you did this methodically to embarrass him at the Grammys, and that's not cool. You could have got him anywhere. That was just ridiculous. Now, if he did something at the Grammys, I don't know. I heard there was a warrant, so I'm not sure. Let's try to finish this up. Triangle never gets all these comments. I thank you guys. 1,100 of you guys up here up all night with me. <laughs> we at the club till 2 in the morning on YouTube. <laughs> we are such nerds. We are literally discussing law, dissecting the law, you know, with a little bit of shade and stuff from the videos in the middle of the night. That's what I'm doing for my birthday. This is how I'm hanging out. It's a lot safer, though. That's for sure. It's a lot safer for all of us. If you want to have a little bit of something to drink, you're in the confines of your home. You will not be getting a DUI. You won't be calling me talking about Pam. Do you know an attorney in Missouri? These are the phones I call I get from all the intellects all week. I know you don't practice in Washington, but can you? do you know an attorney? I know you don't practice in Minnesota, but can you get me an attorney? <laughs> I get that all week long from the intellects. I appreciate you guys coming to me first and thinking of me when you guys get in trouble or your family members get in trouble. You don't piss off somebody. I don't know who you don't piss off or I don't know who want to see you out the way. And I'm listening, I'm listening, listen to me carefully. I don't, I'm not, I don't know if you piss off somebody or not, but they're on the outside looking in. Right. I don't know who you don't pissed off or who you don't promise them and didn't give it to. These second rail charges that they're trying to say that you've done and these statements, these serious and sexual assault charges, that's some cold shit right there. That's just like us being in there being labeled as a boy or a punk, and we know how we all want that, that tag on us then. I don't want my family talking about I was in there doing this and doing that because that's not what I was doing. That's right. That's right. That's right. So if that's not true and you don't went down there and made some statements or the Listen, Vicky, that's what I'm talking about. If people really paid attention, that's why I said with Sonya. 
I said, because I generally just give out information, a lot of information people tell me I should be charging for, but it's like, no, there were times when before I became a lawyer that I wish I had a lawyer and I made decisions I shouldn't have made. So if I could do general information that could lead people in the right direction without giving legal advice, of course, because you need to get legal advice, you hire your attorney. But if I could just generally give people the direction, then I think it can help a lot of lives. That was the point. And I can't be boring and just throw up statutes. So yeah, we talk about stuff. We give a little bit of opinion. We have a little shade, a little laughter, and we have a little bit serious. Then we might have a little church. You know, we have a whole gambit of things that we we end up having over here but sonia took it personal because she's so worried about somebody thinking she's a side chick people are going to always think that you will not be able to erase that stain off of your name you just won't be so let's just count it you know push it to the side and we move forward and we say well if this is my friend and i want to help him what can i do behind the scenes to help him Oh, she said, if I file this motion, then maybe he can have this. Oh, she said it's something he could be doing civilly. Let me go see what he can be doing civilly. I've thrown out a whole lot of nuggets out there that she can take and she can run. You see, Dre picked up. All you got to do is get a forensic expert and they'll be able to tell when it was downloaded, who, who opened it up. They can tell all of that stuff. And that's what you're going to need. That's the type of stuff you pick up that I put over here instead of take it personal because you don't want people to think that you're a side hand. Everybody's going to think that. You know why? Because you were or you are. Why? Because he's married. You knew he was married and you still was having inappropriate conversations and inappropriate contacts with them. It's not even just about physical. These phone calls, you making like you can't wait till he come out. You talking about how long it's been for you and you waiting on him. And you can't wait. He's coming to stay at your house. Is this a face you could wake up to every day? I'm not going to wake up to my friend every day. So start trying to fake the funk. This is who you want. And that's okay. You like it. I love it. I don't really care. I'm just trying to go over the law. That's it. I'm told some folks. And now I got that white man listening to try to bring this against him. I'm going to plant this in his phone to make it seem like he's doing this. That's a cold move right there, boy. Whoever doing that, if it's true, they trying to get rid of your ass. It, it, the damage is done. Well, here, here's the thing. There's only one person trying, two people trying to make this is a career move. And I'm going to leave it just like that. If okay. Goes, yeah, 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 no, no, no. Don't say no name. Let them figure it out. I'm just saying to myself, okay, all the other stuff, the little check and didn't pay for the car. Part, oh, okay. All right. All right. That's it's a career move. You cannot make people come down and make these accusations about you unless those accusations were presented to them. You cannot pe have people come down showing text messages and emails and bank statements and, and Zelle payments and all of that. You can't have people come down and show a lease with your name, Shirley's name, Sheridan's name, these kids' name, and ain't none of them live there. But what we do know is back before you knew Shirley, you lived at that same address and that address was attached to another case that you had. That we do know. So you've been associated with this house for a while. Why don't you tell your partner that? See, it's certain things that you're not going to be able to explain. You're not going to be able to explain how you knew her name was Erica, but she showed up in, in court and said her name was April. You're, there's no explanation for that, boo. It's just not. So there are certain things you are not going to be able to explain. I'm pretty sure. Now, there may be some things that you're going to be able to get out of. They're going to find out things may not have been in your name. Or maybe you were in relationships with people. So some of the stuff they actually was given to you or whatever. You know, it may be some things that you may get out of. But some of these things, I just can't see how you can get out of. But I, hey, but I'm willing to sit back and give everybody is innocent until proven guilty. I'm willing to sit back and see what you come with. But it better not be what we heard on these calls as your as your uh, defense. You better come up better than that. Fine, you know. All right, making moves, doing it. But that this this second way, I don't know who that is or uh, what 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 would possess them. If it's not true for them to do that, now if it's true and they defending themselves and you did that. I'm going to tell you, buddy, you fucked up. 
Uh, you, you, you did that wrong. If you did that, allegedly. Let's be clear. Right. If you did all that and you them, Ernest, okay. I'm, I'm going to tell you, as your partner, you did this goddamn wrong. Okay. And what the hell are you going to do that for? You don't need to do that. You never had to do that. Thank you. I'm saying allegedly, so I just want to make sure when they, if they hear this. Well, Dre said he did it. No, Dre didn't say that. <laughs> okay. I'm just letting you know that this this second or real thing, that's, that's serious right now. No, it is. And they're talking no, and, and talk about they got statements and all that, and I'm just, eh, 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 Where's shit. the statement that? I ain't seen no I, I, I don't know, Nesto. They're telling tell you what they say. The, allegedly, these folks don't went and found. Did they got? If, if they saying you did it, somebody had to make a statement somewhere. I don't know where it come from. Uh, let, 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 I'm gonna say it. You're like this here. Uh, I ain't gonna talk no more. I can't talk no more. Okay, don't, don't don't talk, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk. No, 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 right. If if, if 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 the pictures are false, why are they saying that's in your phone on your laptop? Which one is it? Is it his laptop or is it got dog on cell phone? Yeah. Is it a teenager or is it a little high school girl? Which, which one is it? Right. Well, I don't need. Thank I don't, you. I don't do no, 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 no. I'm just no, no, no. And this you and this this animal thing too. That took me for a loop too. I can't be around animals. Well, animals. I don't even like dogs. <laughs> you hear this? This you do? You hear this ignorant defense? He don't even like dogs. Do you realize that they're saying these alleged pictures? These. These kids, I guess, that allegedly saw in the picture, the kid was messing with the dog or whatever. It was some disgusting things going on in the pictures with the dogs. It did not have nothing to do with him physically having any type of animals in his house. So for him to say, he don't even like dogs. And then Nesto like that. He laughing. Yeah, you know your partner. You know me. I don't like no animals. <laughs> He ain't got no, oh. he ain't got a fish aquarium in his house. He don't even have no, well, what you mean you can't be around animals? I ain't ever known you to be with a woman that had, <laughs> that had a dog. If she did, you didn't want him in your goddamn car. <laughs> you couldn't have got the dog. He couldn't ride back down. <laughs> you remember that? You remember that? You got this? I don't remember it. Remember now, dog, where were you going? With me and the dog? <laughs> no, dog ain't going. He said, like, yeah. hell. You put that motherfucker in a camera. So what do you mean you can't be around animals? I'm confused on that one too. Boy, I woke you up with that shit there, boy. You, boy, you. <laughs> that shit was funny right there, boy. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know me. You definitely know me, bro. I just, I just, I just, that's the part that I can't wait when me and you talk. I need to know where is this shit coming from. And these DAs, they're trying to get a win. And he basically saying, I don't really know you. And that's what I'm learning. That's what he's saying without saying it, if you really pay attention. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. This might not be your good character. And then for Sonya, I guess in the last video, we ain't go over that call. But she, she texted Dre and told him she wasn't going to be contacting him no more. Because I guess she was upset Dre ain't had a $15,000 to give like she giving up ducats or something how much money you giving why you get mad at everybody else for not giving money what you giving we want to know how much you put in the pot trying to move on to the next to be a judge or assistant judge or have a rank if that's what you got to do to get promoted dude god damn i don't want them i don't need to move up like that give me the facts Give me the evidence, and I'm a prosecutor, goddamn ass, and this is what you're doing, allegedly. But just to make up some shit, because somebody done brought me and they ain't got nothing. You have one minute remaining. Yeah. You're tired of hearing about your record when you're 18, 19 years old. Okay, and what's new? And? Thank and? You. And? Yeah. And what I got to do with 2023? And? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you catching on? Yeah, you catching on. You catch ain't nobody on. caught on. I've been caught on. I just ain't seeing nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay. I appreciate it, then, brother. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Uh, hmm. pastor. <laughs> I'm not. I, no, 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 no. That's you. I'm not the pastor. Hey, it look like that's what I'm going to have to be. <laughs> that's what I'm going to have to be. Uh, 
long as they ain't gonna save me, that's what it's that's what it calling for. Well no, well you just keep praying in your favor. I mean, you know I am. I you know, am. you ask God to whatever if, if, if there's some demons in your closet that you need to get out of you talk to God about that. You ain't gotta to talk to me about it. You ask him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They said he don't wanna know. Go talk to God about it. Now that was some good advice. He said, Stop talking about it on the phone. You need to talk to God and you need to ask for grace and mercy. And sometimes cause there's still it, you know. You can pray for people and there's there's and, and if you're a parent, you definitely know if you have adult kids, you pray for your kids and you just pray that certain things don't happen, but sometimes they're hard headed. And then your prayer gotta be, Lord, when they bust their head, because we know there's gonna be consequences. Can you please put a little thick mattress down there so that they can bounce back up and it don't destroy them? That that starts being your prayer because you do have consequences. And the Bible does tell you that you also, he punishes those he loves. So you're not just going to be walking around here doing whatever you want to do. And it's not going to be consequences. And all you got to do is say, Lord, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Then all something, all the charge is going to be dropped. That's not how that goes. So yeah, I, I'm all for the prayer. I think you pray, but you don't got to pray in front of people. You pray for people. I pray for a lot of people. And they don't know that I pray. I fast for a lot of people and you don't know that. I give to a lot of people and you don't know that. That's not anything that you advertise. That's just something that you do. You know, so that's one thing Dre did. Say, go ahead. You ain't got to tell me, bro. This ain't back in the day where you did with Catholicism, where you had to go to the priest and say, Father, I have sin. No, you got a direct connect now. So now you can go ahead and you can talk directly. <laughs> and you can tell them whatever you've done, allegedly. I definitely got God in the favor, so it's it's gonna pass in a minute. All shit passed now, so it's coming. Wow! Mm. All right, love you, man. Uh Thank you for using Global Tell Link. In this next call, you will hear Dre and Ernesto talk about Shirley Strawberry. Dre also questions Ernesto about his charges. Take a listen. Okay, Hello. I just got one more thing. Uh, thanks for the money. I got it on my books. That's it. It's say up to twenty five. Thanks for the money. Why you just make just kicking this back in talking about what he ain't do and he ain't did enough? Are you telling Sonya that he's giving money and putting it on your books just like she's doing? That's what I'm wondering. Maybe he's not relaying that to her. But you calling us broke? But you thanks for the money. You gotta have your homeboy put put money on your books. Twenty four hours. Well, it's say I got it. Oh, how you how you get it so fast? Uh, I don't know, sir. It's just say I got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if it, if they that you should receive it with the twenty four hours, I didn't know if they let you know the next day they bring it to a mail. I, I don't know how it works, Miss Those. Well, good, glad you got it. Yeah, thank you. And I hope I answered your question. You you ain't had to call and tell me that. I mean, that's fine. I can do that. No, 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 no. I, I, I want to at least tell you. Uh, I want to make sure I answer your question because uh, I, I remember uh, you had another close friend. He said he wasn't go, he ain't going down the road for nobody. He checked out. So I, I don't want you to go through that no more. You say what? I had a friend that said what now? No, he wasn't going down the road for nobody. He checked himself out. You remember that? You talking about my situation? Uh, yeah, yeah. You're one of your friends. One of your friends. You talking about, you talking about black boy? Thank you so much for the super chat. I am worthy says she spent twelve thousand on jail phone calls, white t-shirts, white nail tips, and cheap white shoes. <laughs> Them doggone nail tips, man, are like that's his favorite. He said he like her nail. You know, he's the he's the fashion. He's the Joyce. Thank you so much for the cash app. Always shiny. Tisha, Sharice, and Sonia. And um, I can't even say this one. Rep Combat Vet Girl, thank you so much. Louise, thank you. Thank you, Michelle and Trudy. Thank you guys so much for the cash app. So I appreciate it. And he said $12,000. That is crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's fine. You met on a rope. No, 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 no. No, I did. no, no, no. I'm talking about uh, a W. W. That's what I'm talking about. W. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he meant that, too. <laughs> he meant that. He meant that. He meant that. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, yeah, that, yeah. He, he made that perfect clear. Yeah, and, and, and that, that right there, that's, that's a, what I was going through in my head right there. I, was, I made that clear that I was not going to allow that to happen for somebody to do. And some I did, okay, man, I, I can man the fuck up. And I have done that in the past. But, uh, right. Yeah, but that's just that's what I got going on with this. Ain't, this ain't my skill. So I, I just have to leave it up to God. And he is working. He is definitely working. Uh, and I can see it. First, I can see, see it. But, uh, and second, third thing, uh, yeah, please call, uh, Shirley and just check on her. You know what I'm saying? I try to get. If I can you want me to? You want you want me to relent her message? What you want me to tell you? Still, like Dre said I ain't dumb. Why you keep asking me to check on her? See, you really want? You said that the last phone call. Please call Shirley and check on her. No, you didn't realize your dumb self had somebody who had your back, was spending all their money trying to keep you set, covering you. You supposed to be her covering because you're married, but she's covering you. She doesn't want you to it to get out. She, she's not trying to embarrass you like you embarrass her. She's spending money talking to lawyers that you don't even want her to have conversations with. And then you get off the phone with her having conversations with a side chick that can't give you $5. And you having conversations with her and got her running up the bill from what Shirley is paid for for your lawyer. I know you over there feeling dumb. And then the more and more you have conversations, we're looking at these video chats and she up here showing her nails and you talking about her face and her hair and which way her sides are and which way this is this way and all of that stuff. I know you kicking yourself at night. You got to be. You have got to be mad at yourself for this idiotic decision that you made. You got to be. Because I'm telling you, I believe if it wasn't for them conversations with Sonya, Shirley probably was stuck around a little bit longer. Like, I think she made the decision before the phone calls came out that she needed a break. But I think she would have been back on the bandwagon by now, but for Sonya. And I think, I know that Sonya knows it. That's why she wants him to keep, you know, keep reaffirming that he's not going to get back with Shirley. But one thing Nesto has not done is said that he will not get back with her. He just said, them folk don't want me no more. Them folk ain't them, them folk ain't about that life. Well, that's what he said on some videos. Then on the other videos, it was, them folks always around this stuff. They always around this type of stuff. Look who they bosses are. You get what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying? Them folk always around mafias and mobs and... <laughs> Whatever else he was insinuating. Love, what do you want me? It's something you want me to. What, what you, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Calm down. That's all so fast. I know you got your little side of ice. Calm down. This is what. Now, you told me that last phone call to call and reach out to her. I said I was going to do that. Now, what yeah. part that you didn't understand? That you got to call him back and remind me again to do it. No, because you said you, you, it, it touched your heart and you're going. And when you say that to me, you're going. When you get around to doing it, you're going to do it. So when you said, right, who wants somebody that tells you, well, you the only one that want me. Don't nobody want me, and don't nobody want you. So we gotta have each other. What type of love? What type of trauma bond foolishness is this? <laughs> what? I, you all I got. I ain't got no choice. I can't be mad at you. I be wanting to cuss you out, but I'm not going to cuss you out in time, you know, make you not like me because then I ain't going to have nobody. So basically, I'm tolerating you and I'm telling you I'm tolerating you. You spending your time and money getting getting lambasted all over the internet and this man says, I'm tolerating you. If something better come along, he going to be out lickety split. That doesn't mean we're on the same page. Cause I know how she is. I'm gonna call her now if she cuss me out. I hope she don't cuss me out. Uh, she don't do that type of stuff, man. She don't do that type of stuff. She gonna hear you, but she gotta warm up. She know she she got to warm up the heat. So when she warm up the heat, you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. And 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 um, she got to warm up the heat. You know, been with been with a woman eight years now. Everything ain't got down. Ain't no matter peaches and cream. I don't give a damn. If you try, it, it, it'll go so far. 
But what I will say is that, that that's a good woman. She's a very good oh. human being. Oh. So it's just whatever. When did we realize she was a good woman? Huh? When did that? That's why I told you he started having epiphanies. He started having some aha moments. Because she did say, regardless of people were saying she's, you know, may have a, a, a stinky kind of stuck up attitude out in the world. When she was talking to him on the phone, she did have this calmness about her. She had this positivity. She was listening to whatever he said. She didn't even want to look into his case. She just believed whatever her husband said. She was like, I'll send him $7,500. Oh, you said what? You'll be out next week? Okay. You can. One thing she did do was she said, my man, my man, my man. That's one thing that, that Shirley Strawberry did. Whatever, this is on me, whatever's on me. It's it's going it's it's going haywire to everybody that been tested with everybody. So I guess I'm trying to say whoever talked to who, no this person, no this person that I've interacted with with some other, they interact they had something to do. It's like it done one fucking like a domino effect. I never know. Well, don't know this. Huh? You said what like a domino effect? What you what you mean? Can, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. When you're talking about what that, you mean? Exactly. What you mean, everybody? Hold on, Nesto. Okay. Calm down. Damn. Okay. You said everybody you know has been like a domino's effect. What's been a domino's effect? That your relationship with these people? Yeah, relationship or something, 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 something. I don't know. The same thing when you're talking about we should get her hair done, who she's dealing with, why they, uh, yeah, all that. All that, I'm just trying to figure out uh, where all this come to play in. Somebody, right. it, it's like everybody trying to be a Oh, uh, Nesto, the intellect said that you a liar and they send you with dogs all up on Instagram. So that means that Dre don't know you like he think he knows you because it looks like you got dogs on Instagram, according to the PI section of the intellect. <laughs> it's 1,200 of y'all up here celebrating my birthday with me. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. If you like the content they said you lying nesto like nesto you can't get away with anything now now all of the pis are on you the paralegal intellects are on you the co-counsel intellects are on you the judge intellects are on you the social media jurors are on you like you you can't sit up here and just run game you can't do it anymore because they're gonna find it then you got the super investigators like grown woman vibes and love lies and lace front they are on it. Like, they go find out where everybody is at. They doing interviews. They're, I mean, they're talking to alleged victims, okay? They are going even deeper into the... They are the top lead detectives <laughs> on YouTube. You're not going to be able to just say anything and get away with it. Something got to be a piece of something. What makes it so juicy like that? It's it's you you nasty you nasty nurse though. <laughs> okay. Uh, the ladies the ladies are eating it up out here. They are eating it up. Now, I don't know if they ain't got nothing else to do. I don't know I don't know if the reality shows got their interest anymore on T V. I don't know if uh Snap and Fate Attraction is interesting anymore. <laughs> I don't know if they oh, sit down and talk to their husbands when they get home and play kids or play Uno or whatever. Everybody want to know what's going on with Nasty Nesto. <laughs> Dang. And what he did and what he don't did now. Nasty Nesto. And what he don't did to Shirley and what they don't found out now. That's the headline news in YouTube. Today, 2023, <laughs> November the 16th. You can ask anybody that. Wow. Okay. You keep saying wow, like you, you already know this. No, That's no, the headline no, news. No, no, no. What I don't, what it, what it is, is. Thank you, Tori, for the super chat. All right, but you know she's used to drama. You should. Yeah, yeah. You should. This her job. She, she know how to. You should. Yeah, I do. I have a compassion. You should. Yeah. I can't stress that enough. You should, because she didn't deserve none of this. None of it. Me either. Me neither. What you mean, you either? I know, Dre. That's what I said. See, Dre? You neither. 
See how he became the victim? I don't deserve none of this. If nothing else, we know that you was cheating on your wife with some. If not, if if all this stuff is a lie, you still was out here stepping out on her and you wasn't coming home. If all this, and you was calling her every day while she was in the hospital, and then y'all talked every single day. And then we find out from the incident reports because Sonya said y'all was in a relationship. See, you lied to Sonya in the beginning because Sonya said, am I the only person that you deal with outside of your wife? Oh, yeah, I ain't got no time for none of that. I'm about my business. You know, I got all my businesses and my contracts, so I don't have time to be messing with other women. I don't got time for that. And then come to find out when the incident reports come out, everything is about women. And then all of a sudden, you're okay with that. You're like, they were in a relationship. All this stuff is civil. He didn't even realize that. I had to tell him, this is civil. He was like, you know what? You right. You right. But the thing is, Nesto knows you're not right. You know why? Because he's had similar issues in the past and he know that he got charged with it. So that's what makes this so ridiculous to me that you guys are even going with this whole civil thing. Actually, it is civil, but it's also criminal. Like they can sue you and try to get their money back. I don't know who they're going to get it from. But they can try to sue you and get your money, get their money back. Darva, thank you so much for the cash app. I appreciate it. I don't know who they're going to get their money from. But yeah, they can still sue you. It is <laughs> civil too. Man, I'm sitting in jail for something I didn't even fucking do. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. What I'm saying is that. <laughs> no, I'm dead. So hold on. Let me make sure, let me make sure I understand my point. Are you trying to say me? Go ahead. It's it just a question. That since July last year, everything that these folks going to put on the news, TV, where folks going to see it, and absolutely. all this. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely a lot. Thank Are you going to let me get my question out, please, sir? Okay, go ahead. Everything that you've been accused of, all these court documents and affidavits that these folks are pulling up, and the person said this, and the person said that, and he charged my credit card this, charged my credit card this. This is allegedly Dre ain't saying my partner did this. I mean, make sure we be clear now. Dre ain't said you did nothing. Allegedly. So you saying everything since to, to, to this day that what they saying about you, they got the wrong and they just making up shit. So that was you telling me they just came and picked you up for nothing. Absolutely. They ain't never picked me up, bro. See, he not even answering the question. They ain't never picked me up. Now, I want y'all to listen to this story about how he say he got arrested, okay? How he flipped that when he said, so you saying ain't none of this stuff true? Now, the th the problem that he has is that his side hand or friend or legal advocate, as I call her, um, has already said that this was a relationship giving money to each other. So she has basically said that these some type of transfer of finances happened. She's arguing the nature of the finances, but she has not, she has basically said that something happened with exchange of money. So you ain't getting out of that. We ain't no, I don't know these women. I don't know where it came from, why they lying. You the name one of them your business partner in one of the calls. That's the one, I guess, where you got the RV or something in her name. And it was in the business name. And you you admitted it was in her name, but you were saying you guys were business partners or whatnot. So that's why I'm saying, you know, but he's not even going to talk about any of that. He about to go into something totally different and irrelevant right now. Talking about the nature of how he was actually arrested. Because he's not been locked up. I ain't never been picked up. What, what you mean you never pick? You know what you never did? How, how you how you come how you come to the jail? They say you've been arrested on it three times since you've been married to Shirley. Hold on, hold on. I didn't even know this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've not been arrested three times. I've been accused of something. Listen, when I got locked up, they locked me up because my identity was stolen out my car. Do you remember that, Bucky? Do you remember that? No, I don't. Okay. Well, when my Your husband, wife stated that since she's been married to you, that you've been in, you've been locked up three times. Yeah, but she also said that you need to get your identification straight now. 
because I have. Yes, she, 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 she did. She did. She said okay, that. She said that. Say that. Did you? Did you hear that, sir? Well, hold on. Don't get upset with me. I'm just asking a question. You keep saying that they picked you up for nothing. You ain't did nothing. They, okay. I they just paid me. Oh no. Okay. Now we are talking about now. We are talking about right now. Well, how you how you get down to Fulton County Jail last year? Okay. Listen. When I was, you know what I was doing. I was going to pick my uh, registration up out of my motherfucking family, okay? I needed a registration so I could take it back to the uh, bank and so I can uh, put everything to my business name to my check right. account. So I needed right. it. So uh, when I went okay. to go I had my car parked there, the police was just having to ride down the street, the same street I was going down. She passed me and doubled back around and came and, uh, and I pulled up looking at a building uh, in Roswell. So, and I know the police swooping up on me. Who, hey, that's those buckheads. I'm like, what the fuck is this police talking about? So she said, I got a one for your arrest. I said, no, you don't either. But guess what? I'm checking my shit every day if I need to on my own security fucking goddamn uh who checks they stuff every day if you are a law abiding citizen <laughs> and said first of all i don't understand how he got access to be able to check to see if he got warrants because that sounds like a lean type system that police have that you can only go in if you're actually going to arrest somebody because usually you have a number to it like an id or whatever so i don't even know how he's able to do this but even assuming that he is who the heck be I would not be waking up every day. Let me check and make sure I don't have any warrants for my arrest. What type of foolishness were you into that you got to check to see if you got warrants every day? Radio equipment. Okay. Okay. No, no, I need to take you down for questions. Where you too far? I leave your truck here. They have the truck in the goddamn parking lot. Okay. Came back. I said, listen, I. You said they need to take you down for questioning. That's called getting picked up. <laughs> He said they left the truck in the parking lot. <laughs> that means you got picked up, buddy. They saw so the goddamn warrant if everybody listening. Uh, I said, I need to get my phone so I can sit here and get my lawyer number out and get my lawyer number out. My lawyer, okay, at that time, okay, that I thought was a lawyer. You said that my lawyer at that time, I thought was a lawyer. That's what he said. <laughs> he talking about Erica so the first person he was going to call was Erica to try to get him out so he did try to use Erica to try to get him up out that situation okay they went in my phone got the two number gave it to me took me down to fucking downtown I know we're ready to go downtown I, I'm going past okay. Okay, 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 okay. alright that's too much information so the blog was here and oh, hold on if the blog was a here in that and they didn't know how it happened last year, you just explained to them how it happened in detail. Oh, so, okay. Well, so you just told them exactly what happened. See? Okay. Well, you say okay, so we don't want to. We we're going we're gonna to continue to let them do their job. Okay. We're not going to make it. We got, we're not going to make it easy for them. We thank you for the content. Right, well, like I said, after that, I've been sitting here ever since. I never been arrested on these charges. What they did was they've been putting these charges over and then they take me back down as them. I've never been arrested on these charges. Okay. So I don't I don't know if this is a word salad or what he's trying to do, but I'm sure Dre has been in the system enough as well to know how this works. So what has been happening is because he's already locked up. Obviously, they don't have to go knock on your door to try to arrest you or pull you over to try to arrest you or catch you coming out of a store or your barbershop to arrest you. They go and they present the warrant to you while you're in jail. And then they let you know there's another arrest warrant. And then you have to be arraigned within 72 hours and they charge you. And that's what has been happening. So about every 90 days to about 120 days, they were hitting him with more and more charges. Every time he would bang there, get a bomb for one, they would make sure they hit him with a new set of charges. So I don't understand. Like, so him saying, I wasn't picked up. First of all, I wasn't picked up. You were originally picked up, sir. And you said your truck was left there. You wanted to get the numbers out of your phone before they came and said they had a warrant for your arrest. And then they put you in a squad car. 
and they took you down there and you got, you went to process it and they took all of your stuff and they put your belongings and stuff and they put them away and they put your name on there. And then they told you to take your little fingerprints and they told you to do this so they can get all of them. That's called processing down there at Rice Street. And then after that, they gave you a little bunkie, right? You went over there and you got your little bunk. And then you probably was like, when can I use the phone? And then a couple of days later, whenever they let you use the phone, that's when you call Shirley. She ain't answer the phone because she said she not used to dealing with people calling her from jail. So she was ignoring it. And then she finally picked up. So she didn't even know you were in jail for like two days. She didn't know where you were at. So then all of these other arrest warrants, again, they occurred while you were in jail. So I, you're trying to, let's, let's just be clear on the process. I was wrong down there, and then uh, not they only real arrest you, they just put the charges on you, and they'll give you a arraignment. That's how they do. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I never had, uh, now, let me get this clear. I don't want to say this. <laughs> partner's going to understand. I never had no warrants for me for these alleged charges they, they pay, put on me. What? I never had warrants for me on these alleged charges they put on me. Babe, you had to have a warrant for them to arraign you. That's how it goes. So now what I think he's trying to say is when he was initially picked up, those he didn't have any warrants out for his arrest for those child P charges and the RA charges and the SA charges. That would be accurate. They didn't try. I don't think they hit him with those till January where he had the child P charges. And then he also had the SA charges were in July of 2022 or 23. I don't remember. 23? 23. Yeah, they was like July of 2023 when he got those charges. So yes, he was already in jail when they did the warrant for that and they presented it to him when he was in jail. So if that's what he's trying to say, yeah, but to make it seem like, all these charges didn't even exist. I don't even know where they came from. Like, cut it out. You know what I'm saying? Nobody was looking for me. Okay? Nobody was complaining about me. Nobody. That's what I'm trying to say. You're saying before last year, before they, before they, before they picked you up? Yes, exactly. Nobody. Okay? Nobody want to complain about me. Nobody had no problems with me. No nothing. Everything was goddamn gravy like a train. Well, clearly people had a problem with you. You need to say nobody went to the police about you. <laughs> that would be the correct way to say it. Because a lot of these charges, they're saying we're 19, 20, 21. A lot of these accusations. They weren't, you, you were in jail since 22. So they were all prior to that. They weren't like, I don't even I don't even know if any of them was in 22. I have to look at it, but a lot of these charges were in 21. 21, he just every month it seemed like it was something. So 21, he had a rough year. So maybe you didn't know, like people were asking you, can they get their money back or whatever they were doing, and you were ignoring the heck out of them. Or whatever the situation was, and then they decided to go. Like the young lady who said you took her car. She went and filed a police report. That's why when the girl's mother or not mother, grandmother, aunt, whoever was driving her car, it was the car was reported stolen. Why? Because that woman reported the car stolen. You knew that 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 you knew that criminal complaint was out there. You knew it was out there. OK. OK. So uh, the other charge they put on me talking about that, that uh, shit. That shit. That was an interview from the girl they got from my telephone. My telephone. A fucking detective. She wasn't a detective. Then she was a fucking police. She made a detective off of me, of who I'm fucking married to, and said, "I got a big lick." Oh, she said. He said that that lady made the detective off of him. She said, I got a big lick because of who he was married to. Ain't y'all making it seem like Shirley ain't nobody? Like, which one is it? Is she nobody or is she somebody to the point where a detective is willing to lose their badge and go to jail for falsely putting evidence on you just so that they can come up in the ranking system of the police department? Because that's what you're saying. All of this stuff is for her come up. 
she went from a police officer to a detective. Then I think he said a uh he went she he said a detective, then he said a lieutenant. So I don't know what the lady is. All the people who really looking the bloggers, all they gotta do is look at all the warrants and see who the fucking warrants coming from. It's simple math. You see the same name on there, the same detective name on there, the same police name, and the same fucking city of Roswell on there. It ain't no, uh, I'm running around committing crimes all over the fucking goddamn city. That's bullshit. It's good simple, man. I got to do a look. I got to tell you that. So what? So the detective, the detective is stirring up all this mess. What you do to her? Uh, nothing but a lick. She's a, I'm a lick to her. I'm going to come up. (laughs) Political ground. That's all it Political. is. It's common sense. The motherfucker was a goddamn police, man. She's a, 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 a what do you call it shit? When you're walking with a gun in the, in the neighborhood, that's what the fuck she was. She made lieutenant off of me. That's what the fuck happened. Dre laughing like me. Okay. Warrant, but they, they, they ain't looking at what the track record, what the fuck going on. There is, and then guess what? All the statements of the warrant, the warrants are a year old. They ain't even a year old. The statements are a year old. They had to come up with something to track the record when I went to court last time. Come on, we got 16 felonies coming. What fucking 16 felonies? What the fuck? And guess what? The other, the warrants they put on, those are civil matters, sir. Civil. They're not criminal. They made it out of criminal. And then with the Kemper, we got all these people that came forward since we put it on the uh, on the news. What people came forward? You got them folks out of my telephone because I come up. You know what, though? Seriously, I do think something that something ain't wrapped too tight. Like, I don't I think he does have something that I'm not a psychologist. But before I became an attorney, I actually worked with people with mental health problems for 12 years. And I do believe that. There is something that's not because I think he believes what he says. If that makes sense, like I really do think he believes these stories, and then I think he latches on one thing that's wrong that's that he feels like he's in the right, and then he wants you to disregard everything else. But Sonya is kind of the same way. Like she could find one thing that might be accurate and then she'll just act like the rest of the stuff didn't happen. So like, for instance, for example, Sonya keeps saying you gave somebody money they didn't do, you didn't do with the money what they wanted you to do with the money, that's civil. But she's not looking at the part of the complaint that says there was a credit card and that you used it without permission and the police found the credit card number on a police on a piece of paper in your possession. <laughs> We're just going to act like that didn't happen. We're going to act like the car wasn't stolen and the lady didn't report the car stolen. Why would you report something stolen from somebody you call yourself kicking it with? You know what I'm saying? You know, so you pick and choose maybe something that is plausible and then you just ignore everything else. And I think they really believe it. I'm really starting to think that. Makita Method said, happy birthday, Blessing. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. And thank you for hanging out with me this late at 2 in the morning. See, the club about to close now here. See, we done hung out since 1130. We've been been on. This is the best way to bring in my birthday. I appreciate you guys. Talking about Nesto on his bond here in Eve. That's a pathological liar. They believe their own lie. It's something that's, I don't like. Something ain't, something's not right. Vicky Vale said he really does. He dwells on his truth long enough to where he believes his truth. We can see he has a lack of empathy. As soon as someone brings up someone's misfortune, he flips it back to his issues. That is true. That is true. That is absolutely true. So, yeah. You said we inside, right? <laughs> We inside tonight. That's right. Thank y'all, man. I appreciate y'all don't know how much this means to me that you guys will really be up at two o'clock in the morning 
spending your birthday with me because your girl is such a lame that she doesn't go any doggone where Harley outside of this here house unless I have to go to court. <laughs> I'm missing. Nobody know where the fuck I was at. They thought I was gone. It's common sense. It's a simple math. So the real true story is going to come out with that real shit. Motherfucker find the truth. Motherfucker be like, oh my God. When they come out with what? When they come out with the truth. Oh my God. Crystal, I was going to say that too, but I just wasn't even going to just step on them like that. But that is definitely not how you become a detective. Even a sergeant, there is tests that you take. So, <laughs> that is true. But hey, political would be like chief or something. If you're trying to be the chief and you want the mayor to appoint you as chief or however their process is, here is the mayor. Um, that would be more political, but the internal part of police officer is you, you don't have a record, the years you put in, what position you're trying to get into, and you study to try to get in some of these positions. So thank you, Cheryl, for the cash app. I appreciate that. And Darva, thank you so much for the cash app too. I appreciate you. You said classic sociopathic behavior. <laughs> I Nike am. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are starting this birthday out right. I love you guys, man. For real, for real. Uh, this, this, oh, you said the real the truth gonna come out when they find out what? The, the truth. When they find out no, the you, truth. When they the truth out, about what? The lie that was told to to uh, uh, demonize me with this. Okay. 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 Straight the fuck up. They, okay. they ain't looking at that, see. They ain't looking at that. And then on top of that, it says when I went to the preliminary here, they had no motherfucking evidence. None. And with the credit card bullshit, same thing, statement. No evidence. They had a preliminary hearing and they had no evidence. Do you know how stupid that sounds? Do you know what the preliminary examination is? The preliminary examination is where they pre present what evidence they have, what probable cause that they have, and then that you are the one that committed whatever. So like I told you guys, it's a low bar, but it's a crime was committed and you did it. So they'll get a police officer or somebody to go in there and say whatever information they got, um, whatever statements they had or whatever from the, vi the alleged victims and this and that. And then the judge decides whether it's probable cause or it's not. And there's times I've seen Judge Manning when it's not probable cause, she has dismissed some cases when she realized, like, I think it was like a jail fight I was watching one time and they weren't able to even prove that the guy was there that was being accused of it, that the defendant was even present. And um, they were able to show that in preliminary examination and she dismissed the charges for lack of probable cause. So you're not making sense to say there was no evidence when it was a probable cause hearing, which is them showing the evidence that they had. This is just wacky. You go on by your statement that you're making up. Then say, oh, well, the, the people, they're afraid of the lie. When did they say that? Uh, when was the interview? The interview was last October. What, what October? 2020 motherfucking two October before you put that shit out there on the TV? Come on, man. That wasn't supposed to, that's the most major thing. That wasn't supposed to be served immediately. Am I correct, sir? No, you're not. I don't know. So, <laughs> no, I saying, that was, you have almost up, I think it's 15 years to bring charges for somebody that is accused of what he's accused of when it comes to RA. With unaliving cases in Georgia, of course, those have no statute of limitation like pretty much in every state. Regular fe regular felonies, you have up to four years. Misdemeanors, up to two years from the date of the crime. I'm talking about statute of limitation. When it comes to child cases, I want to say it's seven years in Georgia from the date of the crime. We know that they got a long time for that then. They can keep bringing it. Even if they dismiss that charge, they could still bring it up back five years later if they wanted to because they found it in your phone or device or whatever it was allegedly on the day that you were arrested. So they got up to like seven years. With the RA cases, I want to say it's 15 years that they have a statute of limitation. So why are you talking about 2022? They had to do the warrant then. Am I correct, sir? No, you're not. 
See, that's one thing I can say is Dre doesn't co-sign what he doesn't know. And Dre may know and know it's against him, so he's not telling him, no, that's incorrect. Listen, man, that's, that is what they call a harsh crime. That was one of seven daily sins. That means when shit's happening, you're going to hear the fucking news, you're going to hear everything immediately. You're going you're gonna to get indicted immediately. They're not going to fuck around with that. They don't fuck around like that. It's been five months. The hearing tomorrow is at 5 o'clock p.m. It is going to be on Zoom and it's going to be live. If I have the link like I got it last time, then I'll I'll do it through my platform. If I don't get the link, then the plan is for us to all go over to Judge Alex Manning's platform and we'll just watch it and then we'll just discuss it when it's over with. And I'll make sure I put the link on the wall so everybody will have it. Sorry. It's been five months on that one charge. Five months. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Well, what's taking the lawyer so long to drop the charge? Melissa, thank you so much for the super chat. You said you need your own TV show. Oh, wow. What a compliment. I, I, don't, I don't know. I might be too much for television. <laughs> thank you so much for the super chat and the compliment. I appreciate that. It's just focus, and they don't have no evidence on them. You say the lawyer? Yeah. You get a, the folks that you don't hire to represent you. Let me explain. If, if it's all lies, if it's all fake, if they ain't got nothing on you, why can't they just go in and say, do they ain't got nothing on my client, let him go? Okay. What are they talking about? Okay, here's the thing. That motherfucking Mickey Mouse motherfucker told you, oh, I took care of them other cases. That motherfucker lying. Okay. Who? So who's oh, Mickey Mouse? The Mickey Mouse that told you that he took care of them two cases. You remember that? Uh-uh. Oh, yeah, 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 once I figured that out, I'm like, man, you didn't do shit, man. You just taking the motherfucker money and running and calling goddamn. Do y'all even remember the first question he had? What Dre asked, just so we know what the question was, because you see he deflects and talks about something that has nothing to do with the question. Dre asked, if you if they don't have any evidence, why haven't they dropped the charges? Why haven't your lawyer got all the charges dropped? He goes into the lawyer. Remember, he had two of his charges that were no lay pros. And they said the reason was because they were going to allow the financial, some type of special crime unit that has to do with like fraud and finances and one for trafficking. So they said because of he had all them cases, they were going to no lay pros, drop the cases and let the, the special task force deal with them. So he's going into allegedly he's saying that attorney that he had called him and said he was the reason why the charges got dropped. And so he's going into why that guy lied about why the charges got dropped or whatever. But that doesn't have anything to do with Dre's question. Dre's question was, why haven't all your charges got dropped if there's no evidence? That's what the question was. He'll get to it eventually, but it's just a deflection. The wife talking about you handling some shit. You ain't handling shit. You ain't handling mm. a motherfucking thing. Playing games. Okay? Mm. He's still sitting and not indicted. I wrote him a letter, gave him a letter when he came in. I gave it to him. He made his assistant read the shit I read in front of him because he can't motherfucking see. Look, nigga, read it out. Let her read it out for you. The she read it out, I said, you need to get these shit taken care of. Because it's been over a year. Mm -hmm. It's been way over a year. Well, you know, they kind of see. No, you don't. You can get just bullshit, man. Same thing. So now I'm working on these other ones with these other uh, lawyers so they can go in and do exactly what you just said. And the only thing, when you're not indicted, the only thing they can do is take your ass to court and get you a bond. That's it. Until you get indicted. That's the most far that you, you can damn near go. What's the, long, what's, the, what's the longest they can hold you without indictment in jail without any evidence of being convicted? What's the, what's the longest you can stay in now? Uh, really two years. They got really two years if you're in jail. If you're out on the street, it's four years. Oh. Four years. Yeah. So that's why you keep saying it's five more months. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, so if you happen to be there in five more months, we hope you don't, that'll be two years. So in two years come around, they're going to have to do what? They're going to have to indict me. They're going to have to indict me and let me go. Right. 
But they can't indict you if they ain't got no evidence, though, right? Uh, absolutely. But here's the thing. They'll come up with some kind of evidence. They come up with anything just to indict you. Y'all hear that? They said, well, they got to let you go since you saying you don't have no evidence. And then he immediately says, well, yeah, but you know, they going to come up with something because they can do anything to try to indict you. <laughs> so you basically know they're going to have some piece of paper of some sort or some witness of some sort or some whatever, some phone, some pic, some something of some sort. Because why would your response be, oh, but they can indict you with anything? They don't even need no real evidence. They can invite, indict you with anything. He was basically giving his partner the heads up that he probably will be indicted on something. You don't have to have, they can indict you on hearsay, bro. And okay, I got that. I got that, right. And they can get you in the courtroom, and then they can figure out which way they're going to fling a nigga nag from there. They can drop the shit from there just to hold you in, indict you, and try to hold you as long as they can. The process is really supposed to take three months, four times six to nine months after you indicted. You see? Mm -hmm. Like I said before, I don't know who you don't piss off, or who, who, who you made mad, or who you don't like, or whatever. Somebody got to be in for your ass. Well, that's fine. I ain't dead yet. Okay, no, 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 no. You're missing my point. <laughs> okay. the, the white folks, the, the DAs, when they. He's this. He's a slight risk. He's dangerous. He can intimidate witnesses. He did this. He did this. They got it in for your ass. Listen, uh, they, do Listen. they do all. They do. They do everybody. I, I, I'm not talking about everybody. Yeah. I, I, I want you to understand. They got it in for you. <laughs> okay. That's all. Well, I don't. Know. I just want you to that. understand that. Right. I, I got that. I, we got. We got all that. We got all that now. Like I said. You ain't got to tell me now. We'll talk. We will meet again. I don't know who you don't piss. I don't know who you don't piss off, or who what you don't done. That, that, I, I do believe. I ain't gonna sit here and say I go to church every Sunday, Bible class, and 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 and, and, and throw the Bible in my car. And you ain't gonna hear me throw no religion on nobody. I do believe in God. I do believe that whatever's done in the dark will come to the light. Thank I do believe that he see things that we can't see, it. and whatever happened happened for a reason. I said that to say this: your situation happened for a reason. I don't know the reason. Cassandra, you're supposed to be asleep. You're not. You're not supposed to be over here at um, Club Intellect. They got Club Shay Shay. I'm Club Intellect over here at two in the morning, still up here <laughs> celebrate my birthday with the intellects. Thank you so much. For your continued support. Cassandra was one of my day ones. She was sharing my videos when I had about five people on this piece. Okay. So shout out to you and your continued support. I appreciate you, sis. I hear you. I hear the bloggers. But something, if this is happening to you for a reason, at 58 years old, dealing with your, well, what you don't been through or what you don't accomplish and what it is, I don't know what it is. That's what I want you to think about. If you haven't already thought about why are you in there, why are you laying down when you're looking at TV or whatever, whatever, why, why me, why I'm in here, why I'm going through this, why are these folks are assassinating my character, why they got my wife did, they got this, my, well, they don't went all the way back to my first wife and brother. If that's a reason, I need you to figure that out <laughs> if you don't already know. It's because. When we look at it on the outside, well, I'm, I'm sorry, saying we. When I look at it on, the, when I look at it on the outside, what they're trying to do to you, they don't give a fuck about you. That's all. They don't care about your character, if your your wife, your family, your kids, your grandkids, or nothing. But with the stuff that they're saying about you, and that's cold. That's a cold move right there, Ernesto. That's a cold move right there. They don't care about your finances. They don't care about your wife. Staying in over the basement, or uh, uh, your stuff out on the street. We do care about his wife. What are you talking about? That's not true. We care about the wife. We care about all these alleged victims. We care about it. We care that you get due process, Nesto. We we care about you getting the proper due process. We want to see a trial. We want to see your defense. We want to see the evidence. We want to see all the alleged victims. We want to see all of this stuff. So that's not, that's definitely not true. But, but Dre is funny to me. The way he just randomly just blurts out stuff and just, 
he's, he's hilarious. Uh, in town, they don't care. Well, who the fuck you done pissed off? That's a cold <laughs> move right there. All of that, all of this is for what? I don't know. I, 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 no, no, I don't want you to answer it. This is what I'm saying to myself. It's just me bouncing stuff off you. Oh. All of this is for what? For me what? Uh, to be a better man in life when I get out? For me to write a book where all my troubles and all my desires you're going to bless me with? Or if the people that I've done wrong, do I need to redeem myself? If I've done the wrong. Well, it, it got to be, this shit, this is something that you just don't see every day. Well, I don't think you're going to see it every day. But what's the reason for you, though? Right. That's the question, that's the question I keep asking myself. <laughs> do you understand $800,000 buns and 850 buns for each count and all that? Them kingpin stature buns numbers. When we was getting caught up back in the days in the exactly. federal time and all of that, the folks that was getting both loads of stuff and all of that, hell, they buns weren't that damn high, Ernest. They weren't. They weren't. They weren't. But why is he so funny to me? He like, why is your shit so high? <laughs> What is going on? He said, I, listen, I done been in the system and I don't understand. We have people in here that did this and that. They, they junk one as high as you. What did you do to these people? What is what is going on here? See, Drake knows something is not right. Like it got to be something that's happening that's missing. There is a piece of the puzzle that is missing and that's what he's inquiring about. First case back in 1996, my brother was $50,000. This shit crazy. A hundred thousand on this count, two fifty on this count. Anchor model with this, anchor model that on each count. <laughs> what the fuck with this? So some allegedly stuff? A picture they can't see? <laughs> <laughs> I got to laugh. I got to laugh. I just. But what, 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 yeah, but, but that's what they're saying out here with us. That's the picture where we. Because. I feel like if it was a picture in your phone and it was if it was a little seventeen year old or a little twelve year old, they would have that shit on the news like they had everything else. Exactly. Look at Mr. Williams. Headline news. Shirley, you see your hum? Hey, that picture's not on the news. Yeah. The house is on the news. Yeah. The bottle shop is on the news. You watching the weather's and all that's on the news. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You got a guessing is on the news. <laughs> you in my backyard behind the creatures. Is, is you on the news? <laughs> yeah, that's all that. Yeah. I, I, I don't understand, bro. Yeah. What are the little girl pictures at? Yeah. And and what animals have you assaulted or, 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 or did wrong to? What, what are the wild at? What are the chihuahuas at? Why we can't see them? What is wrong with him? Why is he talking about where the Rottweilers and the chihuahuas at? See, Dre does not must not know what the pictures look like because he is still separating these animals, saying that he has sought to them when that was just a part of a bond condition that he can't be around animals. Is what what Judge Manning made as a bond condition? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this, I don't know. I, 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 I'm not a lawyer. I, I, I never came to be. A, I, I, ne I never came to be a lawyer. I know the bosses when they get this phone call, if they get it, they. they be like, well, well, you should have went to law school. How I'm going to damn law school? I'm just using common sense. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a part. That, that's a part that that I got. Um, very. Uh, oh, and this is the thing too that he has to realize. So why he has Sonya kind of going around giving his defense and saying about this woman and it was a relationship and it's civil and all of that, you guys have to realize he does not have his discovery. They do not have to give you their evidence until 10 days before trial, literally. Now, do they typically try to give it to you beforehand or if it's a lot of evidence, I think you could try to do a motion for a discovery. You can do a motion for discovery, but you can't do that until you're indicted. So he's not even entitled to all of the information they have on him. So he's literally doing a lot of this off of speculation. And honestly, he probably found out about when I got those incident reports. That's probably when Sonya figured out she can get the reports and or the arrest records and all of that stuff. And she got it herself. 
because I know that I was the one that went over what the actual claims were. I was one of the first ones to do it. And then kind of everybody started getting the documents. So honestly, he doesn't really know what they have against him is what I'm saying, because he's unindicted. So they don't have to. That's why leaving you unindicted is very beneficial for the prosecution. <laughs> Because you don't even have your, you don't even know what, why we we're um, why we're giving, you know, why why you're in jail, why you're accused of what you're accused of, because you don't have your evidence. Now the same thing with Erica. Erica was she's been out on bond since last March. It's almost been a year. She's still unindicted. His co-defendant. Now if you saw when she got her bond and it was really based on her, she's sick. So it was really based on her health issues and the issues she was having in the jail and the flooding and all of that stuff. The bad, it was, it's horrible the way they described it. But um, when you, when you seen that, it was basically, she probably not coming back no time soon. Like it's literally been no type of movement since, since Erica did her motion for bond. No movement at all. And then it was talks that, She's trying to do a proffer. A proffer is basically if I tell you everything I know, and it's as long as I don't lie, that's what a lot of them people did with the YSL. Then you're going to give me a deal for me to testify. She basically said that's what she was doing was tr if she's offered a proffer, meaning I spill my guts on everything I know about this cat, then she's going to take it. She said that in that hearing. So, Nesto, <laughs> it was already talked about on the motion here. Like, and I've already been in contact with someone so to try to do a proper statement and this and that. So, I, you know, the lawyer was the victim. So, I think that the lawyer is on board for the identity theft and all of that stuff for that specific case. But then the prosecution, I guess, was saying that they think it's going to be a RICO. So that was in Erica's case that they actually said they believe it's going to be it's a more widespread enterprise and it's going to end up being a Rico case. I, I can tell. You, I heard it. In your, I heard it when you came back. I heard. I heard the phone call. And I heard it. I can talk. I know you. Yeah. I don't been in your presence. I don't think you go through a lot of stuff. I I was with you, dealt with you when you lost your mom. You're right. What we were doing. So they know she he knows all the charges, Miss Miss Donald. I agree. Here where I'm at, we get discovery within a couple of weeks because we have a preliminary examination and it's actually more serious. I heard preliminary examinations in Georgia is almost like just kind of like par for the course, I guess. It's not really taken like it is. So we get like a lot of our discovery before the actual preliminary exam, which is in 14, within 14 days of arraignment, because that's when you have your exam, unless you waive it and you push it out. Um, and then we continuously get, you have a, a duty to continuously supplement your, your uh, discovery on both sides. So if I get discovery, I have to give it to the prosecution, they have to give it to me. So I agree with you. I think you should have the evidence that they have against you. So he does know the charges. He just does not have all the evidence that they have against him. So I do agree with that. I said that before, that I think that you should know the evidence that they have against you. But the fact that you don't know the evidence seems like you would be a little more silent than what you are. Because you don't know. Now, you're right. I was able to do everything. But when I heard you say that, I'm like, okay, I ain't never seen Okay. That's a concern. That I, I, that's when I got concerned. I'm hoping that my buddy ain't thinking nothing crazy because life is not over. I mean, I, they said. Thank you so much, Vicky Vale, for the super chat. You said that's why it's so horrible for Sonya to be out here running her mouth and speculating what the evidence says. Nesta was big man. He can't tell first. I agree with it. That's why I was saying that. And it wasn't no digs to her. I know she took it personally. She said I was messy and other few choice words or whatever she had to say about me. And I had to kind of gather it up a little bit over here. But that's 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 what I'm saying. I have nothing against anybody. And this is what I do. And I've never been a prosecutor. And that's what I said. I said, you guys make me have to act like a prosecutor. I'm giving them more tips and, you know, 
where to look and all of that than, than I do for defense. And it's really because of the way she talks and the misinformation that she gets. I don't like people having misinformation. So if I can correct your misinformation, I'm going to do it. So that's why I said if she just listened a little bit, I could have been more beneficial to her than anything instead of taking it personal because she's concerned that somebody's calling her a side chick like who cares about that if you're gonna if you're trying to save someone's life from potentially going to prison for the rest of their life you shouldn't care about what people call you i wouldn't i'll be out here doing what i can if i'm really genuine about what my purpose is Not about no license or no electric chair he gonna have to just get to whatever it is that what's on him these demons are uh... Would, would, I, like I said, I don't know. You gonna have to. This shit is crazy. Amen. And I bless. And, and Shirley, let me, let, me, let, me say, let me say this too. <sighs> and I'm saying this because I'm speaking on what we've been through. You know what I went through when I was there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we know how important it is for somebody to be in your corner or somebody to be there while you're doing time. This ain't no regular little. Uh, uh, DUI, uh, probation violation, uh, uh, I'd be gone in a year and I'd be back in 24 months or six months or whatever. Yeah, we, yeah. we, we want folks to be there for us and maintain and they be leaving then. Sure, right. Sure, when, right. when you, when you asking somebody of what's going on now whew, to support you and to stay by you and to still love you when it's something affected them and they job that they didn't have nothing to do with this shit. That's a lot, Nesto. That's a and lot. If by the grace of God, I don't know, I hadn't talked to Shirley. I don't know what her attentions are, what she's going to do. Is she stand by you? Is she here? Nigga, that's a blessing. I don't know too many people, sisters, sisters. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man, like this? Uh, yeah. It's been a long time ago. We ain't even gonna talk about the partners, you, your friends and stuff. We already know they get they get the hell on day one that you go on the counter jail over there trying to come up. Yeah, bad true. mouthy. So we already know that. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, he too. Yeah, he he messed up. But boy, let me tell you, that's a lot on her. That's 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 a lot. That's a lot. And I'm saying, I'm saying. Well, Dre is saying that he understands that the importance of a wife or a significant other holding you down while you're in jail, like what you see with the young thug and Mariah the scientist type situation. But he's saying you got some pretty wild charges against you. So that's a lot. <laughs> like, he said, I agree that somebody should hold you down, but I don't know. I don't know about this one, dog. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if Shirley was supposed to stick around for all of this. Thank you so much, Valerie, for the cash app. I appreciate it. And that then being your kids. Still your that's daughters. True. That's true. That who love their daddy. That's true. I ain't never heard this side of my dad. And let me tell you something I'm thinking about it too. I be wondering what M be thinking about, what C been thinking about. You know who M and C is, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I'm wondering about. I'm wondering about. Uh, um, when they sitting back listening at this stuff, they've been real, real quiet. Thank you so much, Michelle, for the super chat. She said, happy birthday, Pam. Thank you for all you do. Thank you so much for your support and all you do and for hanging out at Club Intellect at 2.30 in the morning on my birthday. I got to hang out with 1,300 of you guys for my birthday. See, I couldn't get this in the club. I couldn't get this in the club. I'm so grateful right now. Thank you guys so much. We gonna we gonna try to wrap this up soon. Though. And I'm surprised I haven't got a phone call from 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 him. Right. You know about none of this, and 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 your partner, and your best friend, her her, her sister. Right, I'm just wondering right, what right. what's going on through their thoughts and their mind on what they're saying. Right. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you have one minute and remaining. Him, the, the, the young one to see this right. or to hear this on her phone, oh my God. Yeah. And I would be devastated, man, if DeAndre uh, 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 or, or, or Big Dre was hearing this about their dad. I, mean, I, I don't know what I would do. 
Okay, now you 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 feel me now. That's that's I'll, I'll I didn't feel you. Stop saying do I shout out to London. Thank you so much for watching. They said it's 7 30 a.m. in London, so they on their way to work. Thank you so much. I guess we needed some old London people over here. <laughs> and shout out, I know the West Coast is still not still not as late over there yet. It's starting to get late now, but I feel you now. Yeah, yeah. You you do. You do. You definitely know. But, but I keep asking yourself and I wanna know I don't know what you did. Who the hell you don't pick? Who the hell you don't piss off for? Who don't like you? I don't, I've been around haters, haters all my life. Haters all my life. Jealous yeah. y'all my life. Yeah. I don't yeah. see folks that don't just like me just because. I don't have folks try to come in raw. All that. Go back behind my wife and say this and say that. You don't been through all that. I've never seen this right here. Yeah. It's destroying your character. Thank you for using Global Telling. And my motherfucking goddamn damn. You know what that means? For the haters. The ones who don't believe in me. I don't give a damn about you. Thank you for watching. Yeah, Please like a lame goofball, man. <laughs> Y'all see that stupid dance? Thank you, Miss Alina. You said happy birthday, Pam. We love you. Keep going. Thank you so much. All right, guys. I know you guys have to go to work tomorrow. I'm going to try to get a little bit of rest because we're going to be back at it. I'm going to try to come on a couple of times tomorrow because we need to go over that civil lawsuit that I was going to tell you about that he lost. And then um, also he has the bond hearing tomorrow at five o'clock. If you guys are just joining me, his bond is going to be on Zoom. If I don't get the link to stream it through, then we'll watch it over on Judge Manning's YouTube channel because she does stream her all of her hearings live because it's considered night court there. So it's like after five o'clock and after is when she has her hearings. So we'll see if they send me the link. They sent it like at the last minute last time. So that's why I didn't even know last time. So I don't have it yet. So we'll see. You said haters gonna hate. Thank you guys again for all of the love and cash app and super chats. I just feel so overwhelmed. It's 1300 of you guys. Make sure you hit the like on your way out. I'm gonna call it a night. I hope you guys have a great night again. My plan. Is to be right back here to do it again tomorrow. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys for bringing in my birthday with me. We were literally here at 1130 and you guys brought it in with me. So thank you guys and I appreciate you guys. Have a great night.